Right, it's go time. I think we're live. Probably, hopefully. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me check OBS. Yes, we're live. Right, we're good. Um, hey guys, today we're going to play some Cyberpunk. Um, and I have never played it before, as uh, as you may have seen. Um, I hope everyone has had a good week. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun tonight on Cyberpunk. Um, it seems like on the poll, you guys are overwhelmingly saying uh, play Lady V instead of Man V. Um, I'll leave the poll up just until I uh, actually start playing, just in case the man v... Um, is it... would it be simps? I don't know. Simps or enthusiasts uh, join the stream? I don't know. Because I guess the main reason why you would pick between one of the two is, like, purely for the voice actor. Um, and there's been a few games that I've played... Um, I'm, uh, we, fuck, which one is it? One of them is obviously Mass Effect, where you, you Fem Shep is like a meme, and the first time I played Mass Effect, I played as a as male Shepard, and I didn't really know what I was missing. Um, but yeah, uh, Deimos, do I hear the man doubled? You shouldn't. But if, uh, if does any does my voice sound funky to anyone else? Um, also, new faces in chat. Hello, everyone. Um, so, I got a couple of things I'm gonna just say quickly before I get started. Um, I have done a stupid amount of editing this week, um, which essentially means um, that I'm tentatively going to announce the release date for Arcane Part 2. Um, the reason why it's tentative is because I have not finished editing it, however I've done like a you know, I've, I've got I've got to the end and I've got all the footage where I want it to be. So I exported a version of that, uploaded it to YouTube, and it got past uh, YouTube's copyright system on the first try. So unless it suddenly decides actually no, that means that once I've finished, like, properly editing everything, that I should just be able to upload it and hit go. Which means that the date we're looking at for releasing that is two weeks today. Um, it's taken about 50 hours of editing this week to get it to the point that it's currently at. I still have to do a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, if anyone hadn't seen, it is by quite a bit the longest video I've done. It's currently four hours and about 26 minutes. Um, I don't know how that happened, but yeah. And um, it will probably get longer. So, um, in terms of Cyberpunk, before I, before I hit go, to clarify what I know about Cyberpunk, and so I know virtually nothing about the story of Cyberpunk. I know that there's Keanu Reeves and that you're a hacker. That's basically it. Um, I adore Witcher 3, and I know that Cyberpunk was a little bit of a shit show when it came out, which is why I've waited so long to actually play it. And I, yeah, stuck a poll on the Discord, and you guys seemed to want to see me play Cyberpunk for the first time. So, I think we're going to get going. And uh, I, I've all I have done in this game is I've like optimized graphical settings and done benchmarks to make it play nice with my graphics card. Um, I have disabled nudity for obvious reasons, and I have also disabled copyrighted music. Um, yeah, uh, er er Erhard Steinhauer, thank you for reminding me. But yeah, I, I checked this a few days ago just to make sure. I will make sure that it hasn't patched itself and switched it back on, actually. Um, where Would it be in graphics? Or accessibility? It's going to be in one of the... It's not in graphics. Uh, gameplay? Where is it? I remember I found this before. Where's it gone? Johnny Silverhand's appearance. Let's go default. Nudity sensor on. And... Yeah, I'm going to assume that the audio, the, the copyrighted music one stayed on as well. Okay. I have also been told that the first part of this game, which is probably the bit that we're doing tonight, that, that we're doing tonight, is um, pretty linear and very story driven, which I'm kind of looking forward to because I have no idea really what to expect from the story of this game. I'm going to turn off the poll now so that that way you guys can see all of chat. Um... I'm going to play on normal, because that's how I'd be streaming. So, of the three options, I have no idea what impact it actually ma actually like makes, but when I loaded up the game to make sure it ran a couple of weeks ago, the one that appealed to me the most is probably Nomad, so we're going to go with that. 
we're going for a Lady V, and then... God, what do we want her to look like? Actually, let's start with hair, hold on. Throw some suggestions in. Do we want her to just to just look like a complete... Oh, that's annoying, I can't rotate the... Hmm. I've been spoiled by Baldur's Gate 3. I can't rotate the camera. That's annoying. Uh, right, where's it gone? Hairstyle. So your origin gives you different dialogue options and a different prologue. Okay, cool, interesting. Um, standard V, second on the... Second on the right? Do you mean second on the left, this one? Is that standard V? Oh, bottom right, keys for rotation, thank you, right. Why can't I do it with the mouse? That's so weird. You're always in first person, but there are mirrors, so looking funky might be funny. Give her, <laughs> give her a mullet. Well, let's go, let's go through the hair and see what there is, because I'm guessing there aren't... Wow, that is something. That's not really a mullet, but I, I'm not sure if I like that style. Is a mullet even an... Uh, uh, no, that's excessive. Um, these are these are kind of too normal. That's a bit weird. Honestly, I think I'm going to load it back to that one. Might change the change the color. Oh, okay. So it's not just color. It's that's loud. Um. We can't, we can't just go for pink. I know it would be funny, but we can't just go for pink. That's kind of pink and... Yeah, let's go with that, why not? Right, eyes. Eye type, is this? Go with that, eye color. Wait, what? Oh my god, okay. I'm not sure I like that. Give her the slim shady cut, it's cyberpunk, go punk. I think that's a pretty punk hairstyle. Also, I just fucking realized. You can tell that Arcane is 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 on my mind because this is this is starting to look a little bit like Vi. I think I might have to change the uh change the hair color because Um We can't be going Is there a pink eye option? Oh that's a bloodshot eye. I'm uh, Hmm. Let's go green. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too it's a little bit too vi like. What color are Vi's eyes? I should know this. Gorilla arms vi. <laughs> Alright, we'll go blue. Eyebrows. I'm not sure I'm too bothered about eyebrows. Well, I say I'm not bothered about eyebrows. We definitely want there to be eyebrows. Um we don't wanna we don't wanna have a worm tongue on our hands. Please reconnect your controller. I didn't even realize it was connected. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. Um, although I have prepped a controller, because what I have seen is that the uh, the car vehicle controls are awful, so I might have to switch to clown sticks to uh, actually drive in this. Right, cyberware. So I, I'm guessing this is purely cosmetic. Yeah, let's go with that. Is there a little VI we can have? Actually, let's go with the neck. How do I zoom out? It's kind of... Teeth? What the hell? Why can I customize my teeth? I am never going to see them. I can have pink teeth. I'm not doing that. Holy shit. Uh, eye makeup? Uh, probably none. Lip makeup? Don't care. Uh, nails? Fine, go with that. Body tattoos. Oh my god, okay. Let's go with that. Right, let's go with that. How do we continue? Next. Oh, okay, this this actually matters. Okay, choose the attributes that you want to begin with. So I'm guessing this is similar to D&D Baldur's Gate kind of thing. Um, body is, is basically strength, improves your proficiency. That's a question, actually. Those of you guys who have played this game before... What I would want, I, I don't think that I want to just play this as like run and gun because that's kind of boring. But at the same time, I don't want to go for like a sort of stealthy, sneaky, hacky build and have the game not really support that. Um, 
In other words, I don't want to pigeon pigeonhole myself into playing a particular style and then just be like, this isn't as fun as I thought it would be. So, um, anyone have any advice just while I read through what these do? Uh, body is strength. What does intelligence do? It doesn't tell me. There we go. Intelligence is net running, which allows you to use smart weapons. I, I don't know what net running is. Someone's going to have to tell me. Uh, reflexes determines maneuverability. Okay, so... Dexterity, basically. Technical ability is techie know-how, explosives and tech weapons, compatible with high-end cyberware. That sounds like that could be fun. Why is there a cool stat? Uh, assassination skills and stealth abilities, precision rifles, sniper rifles, throwable weapons. So the the part of this that's appealing to me the most is I, I'm not sure that I would want to go for just straight-up strength. Um, I'm thinking... Probably intelligence, cool, and and reflexes, maybe. Right, what are you guys saying? Gorilla arms are incredible and a ton of fun to use. You can spec brawler. Gotta go for the full melee build now. As in, are we, are we actually building this as Vi? Is that, is that genuinely, like, feasible? Upfront melee build just for the meme value. Okay. If we're gonna commit to the meme... Am I going to just get completely dicked because I don't have guns? Vi build is feasible. God, I'm just... I'm, I'm slightly worried about playing a melee build in... Um, what's essentially an FPS. Okay, right. Um, so, uh, we can't take points out. So, obviously, we're going to go up to six in strength. Um, reflexes... We will dump two points into reflexes because we need to be able to, like, dodge things. And then apart from that... Actually, no, Vi isn't cool. Uh, this has just become Vi now, by the way. Um, let's go... Technical ability. We'll put, uh, we'll put one point in that and one point in cool. So she has low intelligence, but points in everything else. Um, dainty fear... <laughs> Dainty female killer anime build. No, Dizzle, uh, Vi is absolutely cool. It's just what it does is it's it's essentially stealth, which if we're if we're going for the meme, then uh, she's not stealthy. Schizo, no problem, and thank you. And um, for anyone who doesn't know, I do re-upload streams onto the second channel if um, anyone wants to watch it there. Uh, right. Roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy. Let's go! Like, I'm thinking if we're going, like, essentially... Well, it's not really tank and spank, but you know what I mean. We need to be able to take hits from guns. So I'm wondering how exactly that works. Also, volume. I tweaked it. If it's too loud or too quiet, let me know. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave the tutorials on just because I don't know what all the buttons are. Well, yeah. How to move? I think I know how to do that. Where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. Oh, I can I can use the mouse wheel, right? That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea? Your armor is determined by your cyberware. Okay. Uh, let's bypass the compressor. Bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Fuck yeah, we are. Will run on and on. It could seize up. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. How rude of me. What are you guys drinking? If any of you are. Did anyone ask you? I've decided to have some cider. English vintage cider. Right, F to get in instead okay. of E, which I might have to remap. It depends on what E is. Tea, coffee, Mountain Dew. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. 
Am I looking for Jackie Wells? Do I know who that is? Go I'm on. I'm looking then. for someone. Jackie Wells. Maybe, maybe. So doable. Sure was. Satisfy seen that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. Mm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to him. Uh oh. I you don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I, I thought she'd at least called in. To you. Don't you sweat it, Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. Hmm. No need to worry, I won't be staying long. Not sure I like Didn't this fella. Ask my question now, did you? Although this is giving me quarry vibes. Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver show guns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do you? Is that a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. Hmm. Yeah, let's try not to piss him no off. To I don't know the controls yet. <sighs> no, you sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? There's no clan. Um, Eero, no possibly. Camp. I just picked Nomad home. because it was the one. That was hey, before I decided to basically play Vi. And Evie, this is right at the beginning. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. God, we're sure about to get to the driving. Be on your way before long. I saw a broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My oh antenna's God. down, and I need to radio someone. What you needs to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't I didn't realize no this was a Ubisoft game. Around these parts. Got it. I've made it clear. I don't want any trouble. Then stop looking. Right, so I'm going to try this with a keyboard, and I might have to plug in my controller if this uh, goes tits up. Please tell me. Yeah, there we go, right? Yeah, the bit that's kind of makes it difficult is that it doesn't lock the, uh, the mouse, the view control, when you drive. Which makes being fucking hell, which makes being accurate a little bit difficult. And I can absolutely now... So for anyone who doesn't know, anyone who isn't on our... Uh, Discord. There's a uh, French lady in there called Renard who has recently played through Cyberpunk, um, and she kept a tally of the number of people that she uh, ran over. And it was a lot. And I can absolutely see how she ran over that many people, because, holy shit, the vehicle controls... Kick! Kick! No, wait! Punch it! Sometimes you got to make a door, something like that. There we go. Yay! Yeah, so like later on, I, I have no idea where the game goes because this is as far as I got just to make sure that it actually runs. Um, I have no idea how much precise driving is going to matter. I don't want to just be running people over and getting arrested. Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee, wish I could say the same. Hmm. Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. God damn it, cynical. Why you, why you gotta remind me of the cheese grater? I never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. 
Should have stuck with them. Joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. The Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload. That's weird. I, I don't know where oh, are, those, are those flying, like, shipping right place, containers right or something? Time. Or is that a you visual bug? Of course I was. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. it wait, yes? Nice yes, they're shipping containers Jackie that are flying? Knows. Or yes, it's a bug? Because <laughs> I can't tell. I think it looks like they're supposed to be flying, but yeah. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Stop leaning on the... Press F to stop leaning on the... Okay. Right. Return to the vehicle. Oh, shit. No, we're okay. How do you... I guess it'll show me, because like health bar is kind of irrelevant at this point, but if I start taking damage, then it'll it'll matter. Oh god, right. Hopefully the car doesn't like explode if I crash it too many times. Is there a map? There is a map. Oh, that's nice and easy. Oh, cool. Let's zoom out. Alrighty. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. What's that noise? Oh my god. Is that the sound my car is making when it changes gears? Because that doesn't sound healthy. Um... Dizzle, I do not own Phantom Liberty, no. I figured I would play this and then play Phantom Liberty. God, this car does not sound healthy at all. Switch camera. Oh, no, we're not playing in that camera. No, fuck no. Right. It's from your car because you bypassed the compressor. Uh, I should stop tinkering with cars. What is that? Spray paint. Is that a is that a willy? No, that's that's a boobies. I thought yeah, it's gonna be one of the two, right? Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. Um, I'm not gonna ask. Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Wait, what? Did the subtitles just translate what he said? Started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. Also, uh, Michael, I don't think I have seen Kung Pao enter the fist, although I've probably seen some clips. I have seen Kung Fury, and that is hilarious. But that's a uh, short film, not a like feature length. What a um, Hyder, thank you for the kind words. Oh, I'm glad you up. enjoyed them, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. And for anyone who missed what I said at the beginning of the video, the short version is, hopefully, 
Arcane Part 2 will be out two weeks today. Just in time for me to clear my head for Rebel Moon Part 2, you know the boo-boo dispenser. Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds. Wait, have I got to stop here? Nope. He did. I was just making sure. Oh my god. Something tells me it's not going to be that simple. Okay. I'll do the ah, that's cool. Okay. So the, the the car actually speed limits itself based on the speed of the road. I don't know if that's a bit for the, like this bit of the game or if that's something that's going to keep going. Should I? There's a car in front of me. There we go. Right. James, yes, I said I, I meant beginning of the stream. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? I mean, Lost honestly, arrival. means the cargo was flagged. No, I'll say that in a minute. To be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Smuggling. Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. Oh, bugger. Oh, is it him? What now? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what I think I would like to do in terms of like moving around the city, depending on how big it is and all the rest of it, is not really use vehicles. I, I feel like using like the, apparently they've added like a tram system and I think that that might be a little bit more immersive, but if it's going to take me like half an hour to get anywhere, then I won't do it. Do that. Um, where are we going? Where's the, there it is. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Wow, those are some, Jeans. I am not armed. I am armed. I didn't know I had that. It's not mine. The tram system sucks. You want to drive or fast travel? I don't think I'm going to fast travel, but again, I'm, I'll decide once I actually see how, I guess, mobility works in Night City. Because I've played through Witcher with and without fast traveling, and I definitely prefer doing it without fast traveling. Because there's just so much stuff in that game that you just find. Right. Uh, yeah, here we go. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. I actually don't know what I'm transporting. I didn't check. Everything. <laughs> There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Thank you, sir. Don't forget to take your personal Was that a condom ad? Probably. Oh, wait. Give me my gun. Where's my gun? Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, what happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay.
Now see, this feels odd to me because I drive on, well, side of the road's kind of irrelevant, but I drive sitting on the right-hand side of the car. Like in real life. You gonna tell me what happened back there? <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive Jackie just Hello out. Tura, and yes, um, I put the uh, gender up to a pole, so our way. Um, but yeah, I went nomad because that Does one sounded good. the most fun. Stop your vehicle oh, Let's god damn it. Oh, wait, that's bad. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Whatever happened to plausible deniability? I don't know what's in there. Oh my god. Yay! Oh my god, fucking hell. Yeah, these don't these don't count as vehicular homicides, do they? Do they tell you this might be way too early for me to ask this, but do they tell you where Night City is, like, in, geographically? Or is it just, like, a bubble world where it's kind of on its own? Gotta keep moving. Why is my health only at 31? Ah, California. Okay, thank you. Can't stop here. Place looks deserted. Who's gonna stop here? Are those just drones, or are they? We go on. Hmm. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> that was a frame drop. I almost tagged our asses. That what you call smuggling? Chingado! Was supposed to go smooth. No problems! If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences! He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us, and he was right. <sighs> so what now? I gotta ask you the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I'm just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but you're all right. Mm, I okay. The honesty. Yeah, thanks. So what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Wait, did he not know what we were transporting either? Ah, that's not open. It. There we go. Uh, yeah, I feel like. I don't know if your client's gonna be happy getting an open package. If we've been paid to should move something, I don't think we should see it. Fuck the client. You gotta start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middlemen. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm gonna try to find a new buyer. Egomania, do you know if the is the voice actress for Lady V is that is it someone that I might know potentially in like I guess the world of voice actors? Is it because I know that um, I can't remember her name, wrong? but the person who voices Fem Shep is someone famous whose name I'm just blanking on at the moment. 
Ah, uh, fuck it. I guess we've got to have a look. We're not allowed to not. Oh, shit. Says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Jennifer oh, Hale, that's the name. Thank you. Iguana. A uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Ooh. Why are we transporting an iguana? Yeah, what's the thing on TV about them? Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Charami Lee, I don't know the name, no. And I'm not familiar with Persona 5. I've, I've heard of it, I've never played it. Why do I have to poke the iguana? Again, I think I've been spoiled by Baldur's Gate. The dialogue options in that game are so good. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? I don't have any plans. I spent the last years traveling between states with my nomad family. I'll probably be waiting for you somewhere, eh? No. We decided to go our separate ways. That must be tough, huh? I have no one to go back to. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. Oh, uh, that's nice or of you. you have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. It got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, cuddly little fucker. That was... That was strange. I'm not sure if that animation was supposed to look like that. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Uh, majority of animal species went extinct due to ecological problems, so real animals developed commodities. Okay, so similar to, um... Uh, Blade Runner. And we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year! God. You NC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! Yeah, isn't because Cyberpunk originally is a um like DD style role-playing game as far as I was aware. And wasn't it originally based on Blade Runner? We're looking for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Oh, uh, I know Kung Fu. Some target practice in VR? Um, we're gonna sure. do the tutorial, yeah. Why the hell not? Uh, Evie, Gavin Dre Drea is not a name that I know. I don't know if he's known as a voice actor, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm gonna learn Kung Fu. Hopefully. Is he supposed to look like a hash test dummy? The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. 
Okay. Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot. Move, move, move. Hope you're ready to... Combat basics. Hit him with the pointy Let's end. Blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm up. Pick up the weapon. Lovely. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. That is an interesting looking gun. Quit standing around and take cover. Press C to... okay. Okay. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Uh, how do I do that? Press X to use... okay, lovely. So it doesn't actually stick me to the cover, which is interesting. The training area when Maybe I'm potentially used to Gears of War. I say that I haven't played Gears of War for years, but with them this time. You know what to do, Z. Can I go can I go prone? If I can, I can't. Not with the C button. For oh, democracy wait, wrong game. There we go. Hello, Renard. Uh, I have not yet run anyone over. How many people had you run over by the time you uh, completed the, like, what, 15, 20 minute prologue? <laughs> Hacking's the next item on the menu. Might notice I tweaked the core. Hold tab to activate your scanner. Oh, this kind of reminds me of, um... Fuck, what's that game? Deus Ex. Danger is highlighted in red. Because it's explosive. Interactive. So that's a computer and that's a gun? I can hack the gun? Okay. This training module will teach you how to apply techno... Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Use distract enemies to distract the guard. Navigate the list of available quick hands with Q, W, mouse wheel, up, and what the fuck? Okay, well, that's the only one I can do, so let's do that. Trash. Okay. Over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, all yours. Take him out. Uh, yeah, he's just a robot. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork, especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Dump lethal. <laughs> Wait, can you kill people by dumping them? <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, try to take him down in one slick move. Okay, cool, right. So if you can kill them next to, like, a dumpster or a freezer, then do it. Time. Have fun! Right. Before I do this, um... I have drunk... Hmm. Yeah. A little bit more than I was intending to. So I'm gonna go for a wee quickly. I'll be back in one sec.
Right, go, go hacking. What is... Surveillance camera. Quick hacking allows you to take control of certain... Okay, so I think in the tutorial it's kind of limiting what my options are. And that's why I'm finding this a little bit confusing. But I guess I'll see how it works in... You know, when I'm out of the tutorial. Detonate the grenade. Detonate the grenade? Oh my god, I can do it with the camera. Okay, hold on. They both have them. What does the 24 mean? Okay, Cyberdeck RAM at the top of the screen. Okay, so that's a currency that I guess I... Or a resource that I have that probably regenerates. I guess it's kind of like a mana bar. But a bit more explosive. Ha-ha! Right, I need to just remember to use that, because that looks quite fun. Ooh. So this is hacking. To breach the network, you must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer. Breach protocol always begins with the first row active. Select 55, okay. Selecting a character from the active row will then activate the column it belongs to. The active area alternates between rows and columns. Okay. See? Just needed to shut your brain down and we'll have to see if I remember how that works. In true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Go, sir, yay. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. Yeah, what are we but missing? Remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Stealth. Need a handwritten invite? I mean, is stealth as just... Is stealth is just as simple as just, you know, pressing C and moving quietly? Or is there more to it than that? Because if that's basically it, then I'm not going to bother with the tutorial. It's very simple. Okay, I'll uh, I'll worry about that when I get there, but I don't really plan on going stealthy. Um, use the door to exit the simulation, which is this way. Boom. So? Not bad, huh? I know Kung Fu. Now we can get down to biz. Let's do this. Camo implant that you can unlock later. Well... Elevator. This way. Sign a grenade in the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make use of it. Okay. How do I... Oh, no! Oh, no! Um... Oh, shit. Well, I guess this is how we're going. I've got to keep the middle mouse button pressed. Um, it didn't tell me how to open the fucking menu. Disarm grenade. There we go. That's the button we want. Right. <laughs> okay. How do I... Uh, yes, nudity filter is on. It hasn't told me how to sort my grenades, it just told me that I needed to do it. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave the music off for now. Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice? You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. So if I want to use melee, Q is melee. If I want to use melee, like, can I unequip the gun, or should I be using the gun for this mission? Looking for 
Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomod. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry, try hacking the door. Another film this kind of reminds me of is uh, a Lee Wan L film called Upgrade, which I really, really like. Begin quick hacking, look at the device and scan it. Okay, door. Right. You can go to your inventory, but I don't think melee will do much for now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my, my guess is that if we're going like melee smash, we probably need to like, I, I'm guessing leveling up is a thing in this game, which means we want to level up and then actually put points in that to make it viable. Ooh, pizza. What is that? And yeah, do I need to worry about just looting random shit? Is that... Do I need to bother? I mean, for now, I'll pick it up, but... Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Xander Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our Not really, but you can sell it. Okay, this I might then. In Black Market Zeta Tech Re v, Mira, eyes up. And the holes I hid. Uh-oh. Right, what can we hack? Can I hack? Does he have a... Ooh. Let's overheat him. Baby steps v. Ha ha! Oh, that, that's not... Shit, that wasn't as... That wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Scans are still crawling. Clean it up, clean it out. Don't want to be bringing the target out under fire. And definitely don't Oops. want a slug in your back. Oh, oh shit. Pick up body. Come on. Yeah, when it said overheat, I thought it meant, like, you know, fry his brain, not tell him where I am. Ah, uh, X. Ah, that, not that one. Grenadio. Now let's overheat him. Yay! How do you heal? Shit, how do you heal? Uh, is it X? It is X. Come on, this is... This is... They're, they're doing this just because I tried to fry that one guy's brain. Right, I'm out of stim packs. Stop this fuck. Rip up the shred. Fuck. Well, that could have gone quieter. But wait, there's more. That's definitely more. Is that all you got? Right, I'll deal with him later. Fuck, you got eyes on this shit hole. Uh this guy. This guy has liberty in his bags. You know how we feel about liberty. I'm actually not going to bother moving any of the bodies. I don't think I need to. Right, tab. Uh, let's short circuit him. Yay! Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. Some code. quick hacks are stealth, others Shoot will detect you. They are marked in the hack overlay. Around, okay, in that case, I need to have a look somewhere. at that when it pops up. Because, yeah, I would think that, you know, remote hacking someone's brain to get really, really hot or whatever that was, would it wouldn't immediately tell them where you are, but who knows. I'm, I'm not reading that. Although I do need more health. Euro dollars. Oh, yes, please. So, yeah, okay, right. How do I... What is all, what is all this shit that I'm picking up? 
Just the, the random knickknacks. How do I view that? Or is it just vendor trash that I don't do anything with? I swear I just picked something up. Like a new shirt or something. Uh, wardrobe I don't care about for now because we haven't unlocked anything. Backpack. How'd you open your backpack? There it is. Thank you. Right, okay, so before combat, I guess, I can decide to consume some of these. We got the grenades, which... Quick hacking doesn't really... Okay, I guess that's for crafting. I'll probably come to this kind of as and when. Right, Cyclone, so... Melee weapon mod. That sounds lovely. Are my fists a melee weapon, or do I have to, like, put a, a you know, robot fist on or something to, like, do that? Health inhalers regenerate over time. You don't need to search for them. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, I'll probably kind of work out how this works. Uh, maybe after the stream or before I stream next time. Um, for now, I'll just go through the game and do what I can. How do I put my gun away? And... Ooh. Is there not a way to just put my gun away? There actually might not be. Hit the reload button twice. It's R. Uh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I feel, uh, Probably not supposed to go that way. Definitely not supposed to go that way. Ah, oh, here we go. Alt, thank you. Uh, Jesus yes. Christ. Oh, did they steal his kidney? I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not look good. Jacking in. Box, I do not believe you. I haven't unlocked, like, bungee legs yet. Sandra Dorset, NC5704442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. You're right, Box. The, uh... The bra is literally just a texture. It's not a... It's not a piece... It's not a piece of clothing that they've rendered. But I'm thankful for them doing it, because now I can actually stream this game. She's flatlining! V, need to know what's going on. Jackie Air Hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Catch, Chica! Ah, oh, Pulp Fiction here. I think. Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, chica! Get her outside! Fuera, get her out! Terrace! Wow. 
Wait for the trauma team. All righty. There you go. Yep. Place the patient on the ground. Yeah, how do I do that? Game? How do I do that? There we go. Five steps back. Now. Hmm. These guys seem nice. Oh, that's my gun. T-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennigin. Well, alrighty. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Special Forces Good Ambulance guys as one. Over. Okay. Cut my wires now. See you in the near future. So, Let's because see, hold on. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's they gonna look for me? Won't we'll leave you hanging, Jack. Oh, does that mean I get to Don't take the be metro? Used to it. I've been looking forward to this all day. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? I've been looking forward to playing Cyberpunk She's all week. All yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. I should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Right, sorry, the question I was going to ask is, uh, uh, unless this is a spoiler, but I don't really see how it could be, is the trauma teams seemed to, like, they responded to that person being essentially, you know, dead or comatose or going to die. Hello. Um, but they didn't actually seem to do anything until I found them. So had I not gotten involved, they would have shown up, gone and found her in the bathtub, and then, I guess, rescued her? Or is that not how- like, how do- how do they know that someone needs help, is what I'm asking? Or is that all Hello. done, like, remotely using, uh, biotics or other enhancements? Biotics is Mass Effect. Are they called biotics in this? She had an implant and the connection was blocked. Right, okay, fair enough. Um, who are we calling? Wakako Okada, okay. <clears throat> you remove the jammer, otherwise they would have got there instantly. Okay, thank you. Is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, if it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. So that actually reminded me. Worked out the NCPD is mm. going to put Watson on lockdown. I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, chica. I'm driving. Um... Yeah, so I've watched a little bit more of Shogun, and I'm now three episodes in, and I am hooked. It is really, really good. So if any if any of you guys like historical dramas, I would definitely recommend watching it. Right, okay. Those are jobs I've completed. This is currently active. I'm not sure what that is. So I guess eventually I'll have, like, side quests here. Yeah, I guess eventually I'll have side quests here and then I can choose which ones to track and then they'll take me to wherever they are on the map. Will it show me where they are on the map? I guess it doesn't matter because he's driving, but I'll, I'll find out. Um, Dizzle, it's, uh, it's not Disney, although I am watching it on Disney+. Plus. I think it's... What's the name of the studio? Fuck, what's it called? Stars, I think, possibly? I can't remember. But yeah, it's on Disney. Disney has a license to show it. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, 
FX, that's it. Thank you, Lord Wahoo. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Fleming Jensen, uh, in terms of how historical it is, because I don't know anything about the historical period it's taking place during. Let's grab a But even if it is completely ahistorical, I am thoroughly enjoying it three episodes in. Didn't um, Metatron did a video on, like, episode one a few days ago? I haven't yet watched it, but is his... Because he's primarily, I guess... Well, I don't want to say he's primarily concerned with historical accuracy, but that's definitely... That seems to be what he cares about. And is his take on it that it is basically completely ahistorical? Because it seems like quite a lot of effort has been put in to making it relatively accurate, but again, I know nothing about the time period that it's set during, so I could be completely wrong. Metatron liked it. Okay, interesting. Fuck you! Can I grenade? Aim for the... Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye! Shogun is I th it's either nine or ten episodes, but it's not all out now. It's being released like week on week. It's okay. I think five episodes are out currently. I've watched three. Well, I'm hoping that the copyright-free music option is working. And I see what you mean about the Blade Runner vibe. Oh god. Is that Ed 209? Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? Uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much <laughs> I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm going to be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. I like this guy. I want a wingman for him. But they're the last. Wait, no, I guess this doesn't really count as wingmanning because he's already. You have yeah. A good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel. What am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. So is, um, like, the different uh, origins that you have, I picked Nomad, um, does this, does Jackie appear in, in the other two? Like, I'm wondering how different the opening of the game is, depending on which one you pick. Because so far it's been, like, you know, vaguely referenced in a couple of dialogue options. Oh my god. rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's up there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Okay, so when you hit five on the wanted level, they send in Max Tech. Got it. Bastards. But they had it coming. Um. Oh, hold on. You can press F to skip the ride. I'm not going to do that. This is nice and immersive. Anyway, it gives me a chance to reply to a couple of chat chats. Uh, Red Bar says, do you write scripture videos or just kind of record freestyle, edit things over time? Um, I absolutely script. I know that some people don't have to, but I have to. Um, I can't imagine not doing that, to be completely honest. There are parts of my videos that I don't script where, like, in the final autopsies... Oh my god, that advert. What the fuck? <laughs> If you feel like putting a gun in your mouth, buy our product and you might not want to. Holy shit. Um, right, uh, so yeah, in the final autopsy videos that I've done, the flowchart bits, 
Those are unscripted because I basically talk about the flowchart while recording the screen, and I can't read a script while doing that. But yeah, on those bits, I'll um, you know I'll record different lines and kind of decide what I'm going to say as I'm saying it. Whereas for you know 99% of what I'm doing, I'm scripting it. Um, and again, I know that some people don't have to do that, but that's completely different. I think I feel like it's almost a completely different skill set to be able to do that. And I just can't do that. Or at least I haven't practiced doing that. Um, where are we going? Home. Apartments. Up, up and away. Have you seen the ad that's just actual porn? No, because it, I've censored nudity. Unless it's porn without nudity. I don't actually know what happens if I do stream. Is that a vegetable person? I think it is. It's a person made of vegetables. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't actually know what happens if you do stream something and then suddenly there's a booby. Like, I don't know if YouTube's system is competent enough to detect that. Whereas detecting like copyrighted music, it will it will grab that immediately. Euro dollars? Yes, please. Oh, this is my apartment. Right, cool. Um, well, let's have a look at the wardrobe. Why not? Why the devil not? Six outfits saved. I'm guessing this basically just works like it does in GTA. Um, and this is... This is just my appearance, right? This is not... This is not stats, or is this stats? Uh, nah, if we're going punchy, we're having the bare arms. <laughs> Do we go barefoot? That's the question. Nah. Go with the sneakers. Um, it's transmog. Right, okay, so essentially I can pick up new armor or, or clothing or whatever that gives me plus 10 strength and then make it look like this. Cool. Uh, right, well, let's go with that. That works. Vodka? All right. Is that soap? Soup. What is soup? Is it soup, a juice, or a smoothie? Yes. All right, why not? Not going to turn on the TV. Um, check your weapons stash. That's let's go to bed. Weapons. Oh my god. Bloody tutorials. Uh, approach the mirror and change your appearance. Is I'm guessing that's just for changing what you look like, which I'm not going to bother doing right now. Like changing hairstyle or whatever. Action blocked. There we go. Well then. Right, so this is where all my gear is stored. If you store something in your God damn it, that disappeared. I think it said if it, if I if I find something and I have it in my car, it will just appear here. Although I may have misread what that said. So right now it looks like I don't have really anything. Um Got each of these in storage. Okay. Those are already... Those I already have in my wardrobe. I've got revolver, two pistols on me at the moment. And apparently I have access to those guns, so... Can I just take the shotgun with me? How many guns can I take with me? I don't feel like we need three pistols. Let's go... Hmm. If that's how that works, then let's do that. Right. Sleepy time. And I'm guessing that I can sort of tweak my loadout whenever I, whenever I come here. Dizzle, sorry, I missed your message. Um, no, I don't stream on Twitch. Um, I... I limit it to YouTube because... 
I prefer the way that YouTube works in terms of streaming. And I only really do this, like the streaming side of this, because I find it fun and um, enough of you guys enjoy watching me mess around in video games that it's kind of satisfying to do, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't treat the streaming, I guess, as seriously as I do the videos. No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Guns. Uh, Box says as many guns as you have carry weight. Okay. And uh, Red Bar says, what made you think... Why do you think the Hobbit Part 3 video is your most popular? The algorithm hitting different. So the way YouTube seems to work is that uh, when things hit the algorithm in a certain way, they will kind of... It will feed itself, which means you'll have... Like, a, a lot of channels will have, like, the one video that has, like, double the views of everyone, of everything else. Like, that's pretty normal. How do I... Why can't I check my email? Am I doing this wrong? Or is that not my computer? I'll, I'll continue answering the question in a sec once I've found the computer. This is a computer. Oh, fucking, I've got to hold down F. Right, okay. Um, and I was, when I started doing the Hobbit series, I was absolutely expecting that part three would be the most successful video. Um, because part, well, because film number three is the one that everyone seems to be in agreement, like, yeah, this one sucks. Even, like, people who like the first two. Uh, so this one is someone telling me to buy a bunch of drugs. Penis nanogel scam alert, okay. Do not click on any emails with ads for a penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. <laughs> the only tested and proven method for penis enhancement is still the Aerosex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. Join the thousands <laughs> of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. Um. All right. Okay, I won't be buying a penis thing, but all right. Your computer has been attacked by... Fine. Autofixer. Right, autofixer net page, you find vehicles that are up for sale. So, someone, I can't remember exactly who, it was either... It was either Tank or Silly Frog told me not to bother buying cars. Um, is that pretty much the case? In this game? Because if there's... If, if I'm not going to do that, then I'm not even going to look at buying cars. Um, I'm also not going to look at that. Yeah, don't buy cars. You'll get enough. Perfecto. Okay, thank you. Um, Laurie says, usually a part three does horribly, though. So this is the thing that I find quite interesting that I'm curious to see how this goes with Arcane. Um, I will say this after this this call so I can listen to this. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Just later, later. Later. Yeah, so with my Rings of Power videos, those became more successful throughout the series. With my Hobbit videos, number... It, it's three, then one, then two, because, like, people who watch three then might go back and watch one, and then they might drop off and not watch two. Um, so the third one is my most successful, again. Um, I will be very curious to see if that's the case with Arcane, but honestly, I would kind of think that in most series, the first and last part are going to be the most successful, because the first is the one that people click on, and then if they don't watch any more, then that's a view that you don't get elsewhere. Um, which is, I mean, that's normal. Like, people will click off, and they're not going to click off in part three, they're probably going to click off in part one. Um, but then at the same time, in... Uh, in most things, most of the, I guess, dramatic payoffs are in the final part or the latter parts of whatever it is that you're talking about. So that's the case in The Hobbit. That is the case in Rings of Power. That's the case... It, well, it's kind of the case in Arcane because I think the most emotionally effective moments are in part one. But um, yeah, that's kind of why I'm curious to see if that's how it works. Anyway, collect your gun. Um, he's in here, right. Worth buying a motorcycle in Act 1 before you get a free one. Really? If I'm going to get a free one, or does it take a while to get a free one? Let's have a look. I don't want to buy a gun. 
I've got guns. Why is it telling me to buy a gun? Let's have a look. Collect. Oh, was that the gun that he was going to give me? I guess. You just acquired an iconic weapon, unique abilities, but you can't improve them. Thanks. Okay. A lot. Um, meet with Jackie, go down there. Anyway, someone said something about a fist fight. Who are you? What do you have to say, old Coach say? Fred? Only top shelf gear. Capacity booster and power booster. Plus carrying capacity. Eh, no, I don't care. Did someone say something about my mother? Someone... No? No, it doesn't look like anyone wants to uh, challenge me with this fight. Right. Let's go and meet with Jackie. Let's see if he scored. He probably did score. So, uh, yeah, Laurie, I... I want to agree with you because that is pretty much my recollection. However... Like, my brain has been in Arcane Episodes 1 to 6 mode for the last month. Um, and I have not at all looked at Episodes 7, 8, and 9. Um, I have seen them multiple times, but I've kind of ejected them from my brain a little bit. So that when I work on that video, I can kind of, you know, go through it in a, in a methodical manner. Um, unless I can find a reason in the show to kind of justify the things that you've mentioned, then those are very likely going to be points of criticism that I have. Fleming says go back. You have to talk to the coach. Alright, let's fight the coach. It looked it looked like I had to pay him, which I'm not sure I wanted to do. Um, Cynical, what happened to your catch review? So, I, I don't actually know how you know that I have a catch review. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a handful of videos that I have um, unlisted from like a few years ago because prior to Rings of Power I did have some videos um, and I kept most of them unlisted because I just you know they're, they're not I don't think they're very good essentially and these aren't like in-depth analysis videos these are like five minute you know is it good is it bad like and subscribe blah 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 so I figured like I, I, I'm not I don't particularly like them and I don't think that it would benefit anyone for me to make them public um Yourself? Fight me, Coach Red. Not anymore. Cole's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to. There's ways of fixing that. Karen's a cop should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. You found it on my Twitter. Okay, I must have posted it on Twitter whenever I released that video. Uh, no, I don't care what you got for sale. There we go. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like... Uh-huh. It doesn't look like I can actually fight anyone. I mean, unless I just sit, and then it triggers something, but I don't think it will. Okay, why is he looking at me like that? Stop it. No, let's, uh, get up. You can start the coach quest now, but I think some weird sequencing happens. Okay, let's... Let's go and do the Jackie quest, and then we can potentially come back here, because if this is where I live, I'll probably be coming back here multiple times. Uh, yeah, Red Bar, so I don't know how long you've been watching my videos, but after I finished Rings of Power, I actually put up a poll um, asking people, like, what do they want me to watch? This was when I had about 6,000 subs. Um, and the one of the options, I think what came second, was The Witcher, um, which would have, of course, included Blood Origins. So I, I have only seen Witcher Season 1, and I thought it was not good, the only good thing being Geralt and Henry Cavill. Um, I might watch Blood Origins, but I'm not particularly interested in watching things that are ungodly awful for the purposes of making videos on them. Which is why, like, Velma, like, some people wanted me to do Velma, and I just don't... I don't think I have anything to say about Velma that other people haven't already said. And, like, She-Hulk, I haven't watched that kind of thing. Um, right, let me just read this quickly. So, Giggs is the exclamation marks. Perfect, I can remember that. I have played World of Warcraft. 
NCPD scanner hustles. They will pay me to help fight crime. And fixers will inform me about local gigs. Okay, so gigs don't just straight up appear. I have to speak to fixers in order to find where they are on the map. Uh, Dizzle, I have not watched Blue Eye Samurai, but a handful of people have mentioned it, and I may well check it out. This game looks good. Oh shit, it's the train! Right, we gotta go for a ride on the train. <laughs> it took you long enough. Looked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on... Yeah, Batwoman is another one. Like, I've seen some of EPAP's videos on Batwoman. I, 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 that is the only way I will continue right that show. Just had brain fart. Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? No, you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. The hell was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. Yeah, that's a question I have, actually. Given um, how prevalent, like, I guess, sex culture seems to be in this setting, I'm guessing that there are digital versions of, like, STDs. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... No deal's riding on you now, chica. Yes, <laughs> okay, I love that. <laughs> Is that a thing in the game? Like, is there a side quest where it's like, oh no, someone gave me, like, uh, robot aids or something. That's kind of what V has right now. Uh-oh. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Caught something from the girl in the ice bath. Yes. This is the real deal when it comes to fix. I can't remember exactly what she said after wrong. that, but yeah, I think that's I what, they made, what made me think of it. Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm oh, really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but. He's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Oh god, driving. Thanks, Do I have I to drive? It. Or can I take the train? You can call your vehicle with V. Okay, I don't have a choice, right? Top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Alright, let's go. Feel this factory new ride. So I'm guessing the, like, summon the car is basically the same as summoning Roach in The Witcher. Uh... I would like to drive. Can I drive? First stop. Ripper Duck. Anchika. He got in very quickly. I just ate. Oh god, right, okay. Cameron. I think it's renarding time. I got a date. Me and D. You don't say. Oh my god. So sweet. I don't want to put my foot down. It really gets me, you know. Me! Fuck! Hurry or something. Oh. Oh. Do I actually have to obey the traffic laws? Pay attention to where there are green lights. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. 
Find me one's fixed on dust in your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. It's too loud for you, just slot in some beer plugs and it's nighty night. I'm guessing as well, because I, I looked at this map earlier, um, is this... Is this like a starting area, kind of like White Orchard in The Witcher, or how does this work? Because I haven't yet worked out, I guess, scale. You know, I started down there, but I didn't drive all the way up here. And I guess just now I drove from... That's my apartment. Yeah, so I drove from there to there, although the... Can I just... Can I make the buildings disappear because I can't really see the roads here. It's a main area in the game but you're locked to a small part of it for the prologue. Okay. Yeah, I mean looking at that map that looks like a tangled mess of I don't know what the hell that is but yeah, the uh, the, the map in the top right is a lot more useful. Oh, a preacher! do not belong to you or rather not only to you. Now, who Do does he remind me of? Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas, All right, bye. Where did my buddy go? Where's he gone? Hey, v. Dr. Vector will see you now. Dr. Vector. Well, that doesn't sound ominous. Is that a cat? Hello, cat. Enjoy your plate of Cheerios, cat. Cyber installation is still... A dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by Ripperdox. There are several Ripperdox operating throughout Night City who offer... Okay, so in order to... I'm guessing like I spend XP and then get upgrades from Ripperdox? <laughs> Probably. Ever, you old Ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neurosocket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Go only to Vic, he's the best boy. Alrighty. Nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. Alright, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Do I recognize his voice or am I imagining things? I feel like I've heard his voice before. Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? I need fists. Well, that is something. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing Let what options guess. I have here. Hasn't paid you yet. Uh. Yeah, how do I see how much money I have? 546 space cash or whatever that is. Euro dollars. Uh, well, I don't have that much, so. Quick crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. You have zero options. Last time. Aww. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. I'm guessing you have options that, like maybe this bit's scripted, but you have you must have Rosie options later optics. in the game, right? Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Oh god, see right. See what's going on inside. 
Um, Red Bar, no. Um, like, YouTube Shorts are not something that I really watch. It's not something that would work for, like, my main videos. But I did make a couple of shorts from a couple of my streams on the second channel. You know, like, stream highlights. I feel like that can work for shorts, but that's the only thing I would do, really. Um, right, so, upgrade my eyes. Plus two health by upgrading my eyes. Okay. And that costs one... What is that currency? Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's do it and see what happens. Hands. Wait, what does the hands do? Ballistic co-processor increased ricochet chance with power weapons. So I guess with like a power fist or whatever I can block and then it might ricochet the bullets. Plus percent reload speed. Okay. So that's not spending my money because I told him I'd pay him later, but that is spending... Oh, it's cyberware capacity. Okay. It's an implant limit. You can get too much, which will give you negative effects. And currently my limit is 27. The limit increases as you level up. That is very interesting. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. I don't know... This, this is this might be a really obscure reference, but did any of you guys play World of Warcraft patch? I want to say 8.3. It was the Nazoth patch in uh, Battle for Azeroth. Not Battle for Azeroth, fucking... Yeah, Battle for Azeroth, that one. Because that had a very similar system like this, where you had a cloak that increased your amount of corruption that you could handle, and you could put different upgrades into your cloak... Oh, no, you could put different upgrades into your gear that would increase your corruption level, and if you went too high, increasingly bad shit would happen. And it would get to the point where if your corruption level is too high, you, you would just die. Um, and this over here is armor, which nothing that I just got, I think, upgraded. Increases damage resistance against all types of damage, excluding dots. Okay. Because, yeah, I feel like I'm going to need that Probably quite a lot if I'm going punchy. Speaking of, armor. I can't put any more in. So I have... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of upgrades you can have. You don't get downsides, you just can't equip beyond the limit. Right, okay, that's different to what I thought you meant. Um... So there's nothing else in there that I can equip. That will cost me money, so I'm not going to look at that yet. I can upgrade my arms. Damn. I think that's everything. I can upgrade my circulatory system. What the hell? And my legs. Okay. And you can upgrade them again for money. Okay, interesting. So I guess you pick the ones you want and then just slowly upgrade them as you... You know, once you've got the different upgrades that you actually want to keep. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Oh, God. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Oh, that's right. I upgraded my hand, didn't I? Right. Let's ask Victor how he's doing. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Gonna keep me waiting all day? Right, just refilling my drink there. Let's put our arm in the thingy. Just and, uh, like yeah, that. do I recognize right. his voice? Is he a, 
again, a voice actor that I would now, have heard of. A bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. He sounds kind of like, um... Feel anything? Besamir in The Witcher. Not that I know the guy's name, but... Play-by-play, -play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? His VA is in hundreds of things. Okay, yeah, I might have a look after the stream then, because I swear I recognize his voice. Oh, Michael Gregory. Sorry, someone said that earlier. I just didn't realize that they were answering my question. I thought they, yeah. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Um, well, how's it look? Zafax, how long do you stream? Here? Varies, usually between four and seven hours, usually. Today, where are we on? 9.41. I'll probably go for at least another, you know, three hours, maybe. I don't want to be too late, because i got to be oh, up tomorrow. This is but... fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I... I will probably hold off on playing any more Cyberpunk until I next decide to stream it, because this is quite fun. Um, scanning people with my cyberware can tell me about how strong they might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. Lovely. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Uh, that's fine. So I can scan people and see if they're wanted. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Mm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. And, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> relating to what you guys are mentioning currently in chat, I can't remember the last time I went to the doctor because there's just no point. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. So how do I already get 600 shots? Is that how many bullets I've used? Now and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. Yay! Yeah, I think the moment that kind of made me uh, change my mind in terms of, like, going to see the, you know, going going to the doctor or whatever is, uh, I think it was maybe three or four years ago, my wife had, she was, like, having problems breathing, and it was, like, this was when it was, like, really fucking cold in, um, in the UK. And, uh, so took her to, like, A&E, and they were like, yeah, we can maybe see you in, like, eight hours. And we were just like, well, what the... She's having trouble fucking breathing. Like, what? Heart <laughs> Apparently that's where your tax money goes. Laughing. But all right, fine. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk this up. Meet with Dex. All righty. Yes, cynical. I do have a wife. Sorry, I'm not single. <clears throat> v, listen, I've what got this delicate like matter. That's why I called you. What are the, the number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds. 
but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can night night ninja, are you in the UK or are you somewhere else? Because that's ridiculous. You're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate. Ten hour wait for an ambulance. I hope that's all clear. Various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. See, I feel like I don't really want to be just, you know, killing loads of people, but, I mean, it depends on how the playthrough goes. Uh, non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, which is like setting people's brains on fire. EMP grenades, non-lethal weapons, and weapon mods. Okay. My fisties are non-lethal. Ah. My fists are registered as... What's the line from... My fists are registered as deadly weapons from uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Right, car. Is that my car? No, that's his car, right. Hello! Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Well, that is the question. Yeah. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Setting people's heads on fire is a right. lethal quick act. Listen close. Yes, I figured it Scanning would be. a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Hypercane, I do not own the DLC, but I am expecting that I'm going to like the base game, and I absolutely intend on buying the DLC once I've finished it. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. The DLC should be played before you end the base game. Is there a way for me to ask for clarification on that that does not Hello? spoil anything? Oh, sorry, Dexter. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to Because that isn't the case Woman's with Witcher. Like, with Witcher, you can kind of do it in whatever order you want. The word out, I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway... Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who will be there for it all. Trigger for the DLC happens through the mid-game. Okay, I mean... Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What I might do in that case is play through the base game sort of in this playthrough. Um, and then when I pick up Phantom Liberty, I'll start again, get um, to Phantom me. Liberty, and then... Um, I mean, potentially, I might end up streaming that. Who knows? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Yoink. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. 
and we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Well, all righty. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Don't you Boy, ever try to fuck me, Tony. Blaze of glory. Hmm? Later now. All right. That wasn't ominous. Forming actions will reward you with street cred. Building your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Okay. Oh, street cred is XP? Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kings. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Hi, Brian, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Let's know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. Seeing what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods with the windows to the ground. Stay around. It's not a way going. Yeah, that's just okay. I thought that was something very slightly different when I uh, when I glanced at it. But yeah, let's just take that in. Anyway, um, right. Welcome, scum. Um, I am not being rude. That is your name. Welcome. I hope you're doing all right. Um, Zax's cred unlocks things like upgrades. It's not the same as XP boxes. It's a way of time getting stuff, so you can't just buy everything. So I guess that I just earn cred by just playing the game. I don't need to like go out of my way to. Like, get it, I guess. <laughs> Slanesh poster, indeed. Right, go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Okay, don't run me over. Is there a wait option in this game? 
Let's actually check the, check the map and just see where we're at. Also, what are these? Oh, those are all side jobs. Right, okay. Pay off your debt to Victor. I'm not sure which one that is. Oh, okay, it hasn't told me what they are because I haven't discovered it yet. Right, okay. Okay. Oh my god! What is that hair? Alright. Um, yeah, okay, so it's 320... No, no, put your fists away! Deadly weapons and all that, right. Um, so the time, which it says in the top right next to the map, is 328. So I guess I can just wait. Um, unless there is a, like, an actual wait mechanic in the game? I, I don't know. Oh, I'm not going the right way. I'm ready. This game looks really good, by the way. I kind of wish that I had played it on launch just to see how buggy it is, because... Um... Like, I've seen some of the bugs, and... My guess is that a lot of the things that I am going to really like about this game are going to be things that I'm taking for granted and were not in the game on release. Uh, like, I've already... Like, I think you guys in chat have already said that the driving in the game was worse on release, and it's already not great now, but... Um... Maybe it's better with a controller. Probably is better with a controller. Driving generally is. Pause button on the bottom left to wait. Okay, thank you. And I'm guessing as well that you can just, like, carjack whoever you want, like in GTA. Or, I guess, horsejack people in... Well, I guess you can't really do that in Skyrim, can you? You know, you can, but it's a crime. I think I played about eight hours after meeting Dex, just doing all the side jobs, then returned to the main quest. That is pretty much what I did in Witcher. I think on my first playthrough, I basically 100%ed White Orchard. Whether I'll do that in this, I don't know, because I, on the one hand, I do think that I would like to stream the whole game, but at the same time, if it's going to take like 50 hours, that means we're talking at least, uh, what, 10 streams to do, which is, you know, because I don't stream every week. That's a, that's a lot. <gasps> Prolonging the inevitable. Well, I could take your bike. I might take your bike. What happens if I take your bike? Ah, it's flashing! Back as we got. I was just looking at your bike. Leave me alone. No, I can't do You better stay over there. Or we're going to have a fisty problem. Oh, they have guns. I did nothing wrong. I can't wait. They're chasing me. <laughs> oh, shit. All I did was look at his bike. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. How many times you've played Witcher 3? Um, I've 100%ed it. I 100%... Well, when I say 100%, I mean the quest. I don't mean all the side stuff. Um, I 100%ed it on Xbox, and then again on PC, and then again on New Game Plus on PC. And then I think I did it a fourth time on, like, the hardest difficulty, but then I had to tone the difficulty down for the last couple of bosses. Um, the DLCs I've played... Heart of Stone... Right now. Oh, you're closed. Alright, well, well, then we're gonna wait. Um, I've played the DLCs... How do I... How do I skip time, sorry? Um... Pause, and then the button on, button on the bottom left. The button on the bottom left is quick game. Unless it's somewhere else on... PC. Other pause? What do you mean, other pause? There's another pause? Inventory? I mean, I can check keybinds. Tab or I... Oh, there we go. Right, thank you. Okay, so I have to press I and then go back to this. Right. Um, so we want to wait until... Let's go six. Yeah, Heart of Stone I've played twice. And... Blood and... 
Blood and Wine I've played once, and I got about halfway through the second time and never finished it. Potentially might stream it, because it's really good. Hey there, dollface. Hello. Interest you in a preem BD? I don't know what that means, but let's sure. do it. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Um, Have fun, doll. MGR Betton, what do I think about which three DLCs? I think they're, like, Masterpiece what level. I love both of them. Um, I don't want to say that they're better than the base game, because I love the base game, but, like, they're incredibly good. Honestly, Hearts of Stone might be the better one to stream, because it's a pretty linear, like, ten-hour story. Whereas Blood and Wine is much more, like, open. Even though I think I probably do prefer Blood and Wine. But yeah. I might stream it at some point. Get you something. Uh... Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Rain dance is VR porn. Okay, so how do I do that if I've if I've disabled nudity, or are we just gonna have like a clothed lap dance? You're gonna say something? Is that currency? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Hello. Camera's a bit fucked, but okay. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. In the world, it's basically porn, but it can be exploited to spy. You as a player don't really get porn well, BDs. Right, well, I kind of think? figured that that was the case, but at the same time. I, I figured it wasn't going to be like an interactive minigame or something. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Yeah, so what the, what is this five, like, with the circle next to it? What does that mean? And I had like a like yin-yang sign See? when I spoke to the barman. What does that mean before I'm picking them? Um, is it a case of like, you know, light side points, dark side points kind of thing? It's a skill check. Right, so how do I, how do I know what skill it is? No wait, I don't want to hack her. Um, I want to... No, N is like photo mode. Character... Right, okay, so... Cool is basically charisma. That's what I had when I spoke to the barman. Reflexes is the one that it's currently asking me on. And I have good reflexes. Why meet here? Why we meet here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Why on earth would he get those two fingers replaced? We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, Unless he lost them in an injury, I guess. So, what can a horny girl like me do? For Nothing's a wrong, like really. You? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. No, sit. Yes, sit. There we go. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um, well, I am the best. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back. So I guess this is like an off-screen dice roll, job. then, based on my stats. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, oh, much no, Xenobears says I'm that I, I just get the option if I have a high enough stat, right. Into. Dex was clear. 
The job's high risk. So it's guaranteed, but I can only do it if I can see it, I guess. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I think I saw that there was a side quest there on the map. But no, I have never been Classy there. Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How to my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for, as you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Is the stream lagging Saburo's at all, by the way? Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Oh, no. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. Alright, looks like the stream's to doing win, good. Cool, thank you. One has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Hello, Kraken. How are you doing? Okay, what's next? Also, yes, what Annibal, I am part? playing as a whammon. Um, I'm the wokiest woke that ever woked. You. Should help you plan. Or something. I don't know how... Brain yeah. dance from Compeki Plaza. I don't quite know how What's that works. What's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. Fuck to death. Isn't that a Mr. Garrison thing? Fondling virtual tits. Fuck them all to death. Jacking off too in those boxes. <laughs> no. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Would you like anything else? I, uh, it's a bit... Uh... Relax. It's on the corp.
Bracken, that sounds like a good idea to me. Provided he's okay with you drinking his alcohol. Look, you mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. I just remembered where I've heard the term brain dance before. It's a song by Animals as Leaders. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Alrighty! Max, believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hmm. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Yeah, animals as leaders are fantastic. I need to see them live at some point. There was a fucking hold on. Hey Judy. There was a tour that I'm so pissed that I missed. It was um Dream Theater headlining Hi. with Devin Townsend and what do you think? Animals as Leaders supporting. Still pretty raw. But and yeah, I am really I pissed that I missed it. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Right, we're gonna catch robot aids again? Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the what the fuck is that keyboard? We gotta contend with sometimes. Oh, I can't go back so, there. So, yeah. we drop V inside. Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Um, yeah. What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in viral. You get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Okay, so it's kind of like a... There's got to be a better example than this, but like the training programs that they have in the Matrix, like like in the tutorial for this. Where it's like a digital, envir digital environment that you can just load yourself into. And it just happens that I guess it's used for porn in this, but... You could, I guess, use it for whatever you wanted. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Right, tingle me. Look at Judy, there we go. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds won't. Grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. Dizzle, don't worry. I've only really played Fallout 3. I've never played New Vegas. You, you are not the only one. <laughs> Now let me see. Where could we? Q. 
Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, we're doing the brain dance tutorial because I have no idea what happens. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. As you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in. And Yeah, at some point I will play Le New Vegas, but I Don't probably concrete. won't stream it. In, snatch the cash, get out. Fallout we 1 I also own, but I've never played it. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. So I'm not interacting with this. This is like a pre pre-recorded memory, I guess. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Oh, he's got a Rubik's Cube. Wait, is that a two by two Rubik's Cube? What the fuck? Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. If you're killed in the Matrix, you die here? I could feel the guy's pain, his, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it actually fucks around before. with your brain. It's not just that you're seeing it. You, you experience it and you feel it. Let's switch over to editing mode. Okay. Zap. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Oh my god, Full okay. cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. You can move the camera Soft freely. Analysis mode. You control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use Last the editor simple. console to hard. unpause. Don't get Try it. Yeah. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we. Unpause the recording and watch the scene. Okay. From the got it. Got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Come on, gun, where are you? On you go. Okay, right here. Scannable clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence of the editor is set to the correct layer. Visual thermal and sound. Okay, I was not expecting this to be in the game. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recorded track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues will disappear from the track. Okay, so scan it. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosip, and a couple of zappers. Okay. 
We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah, Serpent. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see your kitchen? The flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! Play? Oh, yeah, there we go. Drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Bang! 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 They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Roll back to where the screens in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Uh... Right, okay. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about that whole little mini game investigating thingy. I guess we'll have to wait until I have to do one for real yeah, if I ever actually do right. have to do one for real. It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I. Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Buck's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh. Thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right. See if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. So is this something that was added after the base game came out, or is it something that was there but they just didn't really use again? Just from what you guys are saying in chat. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? Because it seems like something that okay. Connection confirmed. potentially didn't necessarily need to be in the game, but ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. I'm trying to think of an example. But then, yeah, who knows? Like when I actually start doing it, when it's not the tutorial, maybe I'll be like, oh, okay, this is cool. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Been you Been in the game since day one, okay. Holy you fuck. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? 
smash her. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's Utterly decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in no, some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen... Yeah, Blake, I think I agree with you. Years. Um, this being a thing Which in-universe I think is pretty cool. Now. The way you play it, to me, seems... very strange. Not it. Like, it almost seems like a different game. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Right, how do I even rewind? Um... Self comfortable. I need a minute to finish. In the audio layer, scan his phone call as he talks. But I'm not controlling the camera. Oh, for fuck's sake, right, okay, that's the button I was missing. Hold on. My father's a tired, visionless old grey beard who thinks nothing will do me if I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the reason. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. In the visual layer, scan his data pad when it's Turned on, right? Which I guess is at the beginning. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see. You have to scan the other green clubs? I do. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Okay. Those are the only two greens. In the visual layer, scan the data pad when it's turned on. I thought I just did that. That's, uh, that's my Discord going, by the way. I'll set it to do not disturb if it happens again, because I can't check messages while I'm streaming. Right, turn on your... Turn on your iPad. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to report. Is everything alright? Now, that thing at the beginning, the 
the thick, like, yellow block, that means that that's where I need to go. So why did it not work just now? Right. What am I missing? He comes and stands over here. Oh, Smasher. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you can only see what she's seeing from her position. Right, but then how do I scan the iPad if she never sees it? Phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular okay, so I can't, I can't scan it there, which means we need to fast forward until he comes back to it. <laughs> Something happened there. Got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Right, okay. So I've got to stay with her because... Right, now he's using his iPad. No, that's a gun. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Right, I'm definitely missing something, because I can't scan his iPad because she's never close enough to it. Data pad might be a wall mount. Well, if that's the case, then the game is misleading me because he's walking around using a, well, using a data pad. That I've already scanned, I think. Yeah, I have. He puts it in the drawer a literal second after you rewind it. Right, but it's got to be on. It's got to be on for me to scan it, right? Very nice, but come here already. Right, for fuck's sake. Okay, there we go. This is what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't like. If this was, if this was just a game on its own, where it was like do investigating and look at cameras and shit, I would not play that game. Because it's, it's basically go backwards and forwards until you click on the right pixel. Like that kind of thing, I don't find fun. Right, thermal layer. Wait, what? Oh no, that's tab. Shift is thermal layer. Thermal clues. His balls are not a thermal clue. What is this? Wait, what is this? Because the, the, the little blue highlighted bit on the uh, on the timeline. Ooh. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay. Go way back. Okay, thank you. Focus. I'm looking for a thingy. Right, here we go. Nope, there we go. Right, before I scan that, I need to go do another Wii. Back in one second.
Right, let's scan this. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Right, let's rewind until we find the next blue thing to click on. I was enjoying driving around Night City and speaking to people. Now I've got to keep rewinding this to look for the blue pixels and then I mouse over them and then it tells me a thing. Just a fancy ass fridge. Oh, uh, there's got to be a mod that removes this. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. There's something. What is this? Whoop. Yeah, there we go. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your has got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Yay! The editor. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. You know what that reminds I'll me of? The, cash on your data. the Mako levels in Mass Effect 1. I, I think they improved them slightly in the um, Legendary Edition, but in OG Mass Effect 1, it was like, oh, for fuck's sake, why do I have to keep doing this? And it's just this gameplay... Com or the turret sec sections in original okay. Dead Space, where I'll it's it on you just have to do it to progress. And it's a totally different gameplay mechanic. And I already uploaded your calibration. It, it, yeah. It was Not shit. Not as sophisticated <laughs> as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. But then I don't know, like, However, again, like, fluff-wise, in-universe, the brain dance is being I a thing you, I like, and I'm wondering how they could have potentially corpses. improved it. Probably by making it quicker and a little bit less tedious. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Viking Bob says, Act 1 is when they tried the hardest with using mechanics, but also the worst, and the first part of the game. Imagine if you had to use the unskippable bot hacking 40 more times. That's right, yeah, I did have to do the bot hacking in the tutorial. Yeah, stuff like that. See, again, I keep mentioning Mass Effect, because I played through 1 and 2 quite recently, but like the hacking in Mass Effect 2, I didn't really mind. But if you had to do it like every few minutes, it would have got boring, like very quickly. And if it took 20 minutes to do, like, that fucking brain dance, then Let's yeah. Walk. Spark says, I'm curious, Random, would you rather have Dead Space 2 remake or something well, new in the series? What do you think? I feel like Dead Space 2 done as a remake would be a safe bet. Um, I don't know if Dead Space 2 was actually more successful than Dead Space 1, but Dead Space remake, Dead Space 1 remake will have brought in new players. Which means you've got to think that Dead Space 2 Remake would... Like, that's got to be a sure thing. Um, and then if most people don't like Dead Space 3, they could probably sort of break continuity and do a do a remake sequel, you know, establish like a new continuity maybe. Or they could do Dead Space 3 Remake well, and fix it, but I've not played it, so I don't... So, what now? I don't really know what the problems with it are. V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. Oh, but what no about decks. my buddy? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. I don't want to fuck him over. He's cool. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. 
Dex seems like a nice guy. I think we're gonna trust Dex. I don't want to fuck him over. V? No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn, it's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm. I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Okay, so she obviously doesn't want Dex to be involved in her shit. And I am wondering why. Right, Dex, where are you? Phone. Where's phone? Or, or do you have to hold down T? Oh, there we go. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. <laughs> Wait, did we level up? Apparently we leveled up. I think we leveled up. Attribute points available, perk points available. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between an attribute and a perk. Um, but let's... Oh my god, okay, I haven't even looked at this. We'll go up to seven, eight. I feel like we probably need something in intelligence and then let's have more cool. Right, perk points. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. How do you where's the where's the start of this? Is it here? No, it's here. Unlocks health regen in combat. Well that sounds reasonable. Why is it saying eight out of nine? I thought I had four perk points. This is the slimmed down version of the perk tree. Well, I'm sure this isn't that complicated. It's just laid out in a pretty... Like, what? It, okay. <laughs> it just all looks the same. Like, what the fuck? Um, right, I've got three perk points available. Um, that It requires eight out of nine strength that I have. So this is capped based on how much... Um, how, how many points you have in each of these attributes. Okay. Health regen while sprinting. Health regen for each nearby enemy. Health regen for each percent missing health. That sounds strong. When using a blood pump, cyberware, or a health item, 100% mitigation chance for two seconds. Mitigation grants a chance to reduce incoming damage. Don't care. Right, we're going to go for the health uh, increase regen when you're low. Can I not go higher? Oh, it's probably because I don't have high enough strength. Right. Okay, well then in that case, let me just look at another one quickly. The faster you move, the more difficult it is for enemies to shoot you. Okay, that sounds like that might be useful. When crouched, you gain movement speed and mitigation chance. I'm not sure we want to go stealthy, though. Um, Hacking shit, maybe not. Now we're going to go... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for this one. Reload weapons while sprinting and vaulting. Okay. Shoot while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. Don't care about that if we're using our fists. Increased slide difference, uh, distance, increased vaulting and climbing speed. Yeah, go on. If we're, if we're going Vi, we're going parkour. Um, I still got to work out how to use my fists. Wait, hold on. Stats, how do I... Oh, okay, it's not like how many people I've shot or whatever. Okay. Right, meet with Jackie. Oh, and I need to meet with... Oh, call Meredith, right. Let's call her. And work out how to get out of this building in the meantime. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Drags the gog back to a box. Guys, so... 
Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NMD. Storm Channel under the overpass. We'll be there. Flying stick. My, what a sweet little face you have. Is this the way? I think this is the way. No, that's not the way. The yellow line tells me that's not the way. Right. Uh, do we take the car? How far is it? Ah, we can run. Let's fucking go! Do I have... Do I have a stamina bar? I do have a stamina bar, right. Hello, Pedro. Thank you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I, If you have played Cyberpunk, tell me what you think of it, because I have never played it before. And I'm quite enjoying it, apart from the fucking brain dance bit. This guy's selling clothes. No, I like my clothes. I don't need more. Although saying that, that jacket looks quite nice. Yeah, let's see what he's got. got. any nice threads for me? If thrift falls into your definition of nice, then sure. Oh, is this all stuff I can't afford? Fucking hell, this is expensive. Yeah, no, okay. Bye. Jesus. Yeah, I can steal a car, but... No! That's not how you steal a car. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can steal a car, but at the same time, I'm not sure I like the driving in this game. And I do quite like the running. Vending machines on the streets, that's where you can sell items and the weapons you don't want. Okay. If I walk past one, tell me, but I'm... I'm guessing they'll probably be, like, marked on the map, maybe? What are you doing? Was that on purpose? Hmm. Boring conversation anyway, okay. Oh, shit. No answer means you're busy. Let me know how it goes. Um... I should ask him if he wants to go bowling. Eddie's have already changed hands. What are, is Eddie's the currency? Have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in biz. Yes, it is. Right, okay. Um... So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try and shake you down as they're liable to do Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Okay, thank you, Dexter. Although, it says I've got another... There we go, right, I can reply to him, okay. That's why it was telling me I had a notification. Um, so Pedro, what I kind of got convinced to do is I'm basically playing um, as Vi from Arcane. Um, I kind of look like Vi, and um, I'm going for like a punchy fisty build. But I haven't yet actually fought anyone with my fists, because I'm guessing I probably need to upgrade them before that becomes viable. Um, otherwise, I'm just, you know, walking around getting shot, and then every now and then I punch people. Which is probably a bad move, but yeah. I also haven't really fought too many people, so... Um, cynical, I probably won't do Gardic Phone tonight because I have to be up relatively early tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. All right.
Um, super chat from Larry. There you are. Made you look. Thank you again, sir. And I did indeed look. Um, I hope you're doing okay, and I hope you do enjoy the stream. Thank you, sir. Let me hear what you squared away. So, wait, how do I... There we go. Been waiting long? My mother always said patience pays off, so... If you want to punch, speak to the boxer dude at the back of the apartment. Right, okay, yep, yep, yep. And when you get the gorilla, gra gorilla arms, you'll be like the... <laughs> oh, Hello. Okay. So, Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corporate Uh, Dizzle, I'm they in the UK, so it's I'm currently sure 2250. are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ejole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You seen oh. yet? Uh, Ghostbane yeah, says if I won't be able to meet up with her if I go with Jackie now. Yeah, you're right. Shit. Um, I can just walk away, though, right? Sorry, Jackie. So where was it? I swear I was following the map to go... To... That's a bit glary. Um, yeah, I guess she's down here, right. I must have been following the wrong line. Because, yeah, I do want to go and speak to her first. Um... Pedro, I, uh, whenever I stream, it, like, 99% of the time, it's on a Friday at 8pm UK time. Um, it's not every Friday, because I don't want to commit to that, in case I'm busy. But, usually I try and do every other week. But, like, I won't be doing next week, because I'm away, and I won't be doing the week after, because all things going smoothly, I will be releasing a video. But yeah, also, if you're unaware, and for anyone else in chat... Oh, fucking hell. Right, I want to... I need to pay attention to this dialogue. But yeah, for, for you and anyone else who may not know, I have a second channel where I re-upload streams. If anyone wants to watch them, there should be a link in the description. Right. That'd be me. Ah, what the fuck? That wasn't very nice. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. I just want to talk. Christ, Meredith. Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Uh... I'm on my own, yeah. Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? I don't know who he is, although I could. Come on. Hmm. I that want guy? an answer. Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Her, you can let go. Want to hear what she has to say. Renard, I will try my best to run someone over before the end of the stream. I got run over, actually, so I'm technically on a minus one, so... You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter, but on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. 
Some shards you find in the web will contain information hidden behind data encryption. I've got to hack them, right? Okay. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. All right. You're making a mistake. The cook's already gonna dead. The chip take you down with her. Hack it to get money. I can do that? Wait, no, she told me not to fuck her. I don't think I should do that. Where is it? That's consumables. That's everything. Where is it? Or is it in a separate menu? It's in shards. Which one of these is shards? Oh, uh, no. Where is where is shards? Journal. Uh, yes, I'm uh, Mick. I'm planning on doing like a fisty build, but I've never played this game before, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of going by what chat is saying, to be honest. Um, right, yeah, I'm in journal and I don't see shards. It's not going to be on the map. I would, I would think it's under... Is it under crafting? Main menu. Database, no. Shards, right, okay, that's weird, but okay. Um, okay, let's try this. So we have to start with a 55. One C and then... Uh, okay. Wait, really? Now I have to navigate back to it. Are you serious? Right, so you have to start with 55 and BD, because I don't have a choice. And now I have to get BD again, which I can't do, so I've failed. Why is it this way? What the fuck? Am I, do am I doing this wrong? Like, I know that I'm... It might be like trial and error to crack this thing, but like... Why do I have to go in and out of the menu every time I fail it? Do only one of the lines horizontal at the right. Oh, so 55, 1C, E9. 55, 1C. Right, okay. Removes the malware infecting the shard. Right, okay, and then you can do the other one if you're gonna copy it, I guess. Although I'm not quite sure what I just did. Property of Militech unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. Okay, so I hacked it and was told, sorry, no. Is that basically what just happened? I think that's what's happened, and that seemed like a waste of time, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Mick, I've been uh, recommended the Gorilla Arms a few times. The Mantis Blades, I I know what they are, but I... I yeah, I don't know if I'll use those. Um, and to unlock the Gorilla Arms, that's a... I need to go to a Ripper Dock to actually upgrade them. But in order to unlock them, I need to unlock, like, the perks in the, like, talent tree that I was looking at about ten minutes ago. Is that the way that works? As in, I need to level up and spend enough, like, perk points to be able to get them, or do I need- do I actually have to, like, find them? I removed the malware and screwed the Militech lady. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do! 
I just screwed the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Well, that's what we're going with. Why did you tell me to do that, chat? Don't know you. Ah! Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. The other one gets money. Right, okay, for fuck's sake, right. I didn't realize that was how that worked. Those are turrets. Uh, cozy place. I could use a few plants though. Oh yeah. Wait, all food's the future of they meat. Easy beef. Okay. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Those are mines. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. Stay cool. Oh god. He's trying to spook us. The fuck? Royce, we got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. Okay. Can I just? No, I can't. Just get my guns out. By guns, I meant arms. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard. Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet. Jack, scum. sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. Fuck no. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. Can't watch this. The camera's blocking me. <laughs> there we go. 
Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Ah. Oh no. Ah, oh, bad. See any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. You don't have a face. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Ah. Uh... Ask you a question. Yeah, I may as well pay with her money. Why not? Got him right here. Just like that. Without batting a fucking eye. <laughs> Want it or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. <laughs> Fuck you! No one talks about Dex like that. Ah, crouch! Uh, how do I get my... Those are hands. I was actually looking for, like, an assault rifle, but, uh, hands will do. Fuck you! Wait, what? That's an interesting way to die. Yeah, I'm going to take his clothes. Although his clothes apparently stay on the body. Right, okay. Make sure to get his gun, it's rare. Okay, well, let's put him down. How do I put him down? Q. Is that the gun? Chaos. Okay, lovely. Put my hands away. I swear there were three of them. Yeah, there we go. That green icon... I guess I can't loot him. Oh well. Any idea how we could do that? Armored shutter. There's no way we're getting through that. Old ass factory, though. Bound to be tech tunnels and shafts and shit all over the place. Can't hurt to try. Got this set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. Quicker the better. Press tab after fights to find loot. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, that's what the green thing is for, right? Is that what it's for? That green icon. I have no idea what that does. Or what, what it indicates, but... This guy had one. That guy has one. It, well, it's green loot, but the thing is... Okay, yeah, see, now it's disappeared. Okay, I guess it was referring to the loot that I had already picked up from him. Go through the door on the other side, there's more. Cyberpunk 2020 rulebook. Oh, computers, here we go.
Pay or your head will explode. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of those out loud. That'll take a little while. <laughs> Screw the PC, there's a safe with money. That looks like a safe with money. That has a whole load of shit in it. Right, smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential of the targeting systems. To install one, visit Europadoc. Okay. Right, so what did I actually just get? Because there was a bunch of stuff that it just kind of told me the name, but I don't know what that means. Uh, those are my clothes. Those are consumables, those are grenades. These are upgrades. So how do I upgrade my weapons? That, I take it, that doesn't require that I speak to a Ripper Dog, right? That's just, I can just do that? And junk, I guess I just sell whenever I speak to a vendor. Because that's a tier 3 upgrade. Those two are both tier 1. And I can disassemble them, which I guess gives me junk that I can then sell. But yeah, either way, I don't think I can actually upgrade them right now. Weapon menu, but watch out because it's irreversible. The mods stay on the weapons. Okay, in that case, I'm not going to worry about that now. I might have a look at that, like, um, before I next play. Ah, there we go, right. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved meat. Really no other way. Can we do this quietly, given that we've already gone loud? I'm guessing probably not. No, ah, don't, 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 don't do that. I'm trying to fucking... Right, that's where we can put bodies. Okay. Now I want to... Okay, so if I'm hacking things, how do I know if the, if the hack that I'm doing is like an aggressive one where it's going to identify they're going to identify me like if I where's a person there's a person uh, okay it says traceable okay so they're all traceable which means that I can't do them stealthy um break chain what does that do? Well, it uses four of my RAM, so let's not do that. I feel like I should be exploding some of these. Explosives always start the fight. Okay. Okay, you know what? I don't like this guy. I'm going to fry his brain. Oh, okay. He's tracing my location. Come on, brain. Where did the other guy go? It's a camera! Shit. Uh... Uh... I can't turn it off. Fuck. Um... I know what I want to do. I don't think I can do it, though. Um... Do it. Distract enemies. Oh, that ain't gonna work. 
Now, I know I can just run in here and shoot these guys, but I want to try and do it stealthy. Whoop. Ah, they, ah, they've almost got me. Fuck it. Yeah, guys, right here. Where have you gone? Oh shit, is there more? What's the red? Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, now we need to use a gun. He says, why can't I get a gun out? Mouse wheel doesn't seem to work. Oh no, that's a grenade! Why can't I get my gun out? What the fuck? How do you... I swear it was mouse wheel to get your gun out. How do you... No gun equipped. God damn it. Alright. Right, okay, so you can only have one gun equipped at once and you toggle between that and your, um... I guess your fists. Right. We good? I think we're good. Three guns. Apparently there's three guns. Right, okay, okay, got it. I mean for now I'll leave it as one because I like using fists. Um but yeah, when when we're in a wide open area like that. This this red line that's on me can what what is that? Is that someone hacking me or what? Also, what the hell is going on over here? I think he's been hacked. Um, I feel like I should do something. Um, nah, you'll be alright, fella. Fuck you! Ah! This shotgun feels quite nice. So reboot optics is the hack that they're doing to me, and I'm guessing that all that does is it just kind of fucks around with my screen, right? Yeah, it makes it do that. It flashbangs me. Oh, did I did I leave one alive? I did. And another? Yes, and another. Hey, move your assets. They're terrible. Fucking hell, they don't they don't stop coming. With quick hacks you can counter them. Right, but when I this is the thing, is when I when I open the hack menu, it's not... Like, it doesn't pause game time, or does it? No, I don't think it does. Wait. No, I was going the right way. Right.
It slows time. Okay. That's good to know. That sounded like an enemy thing to say. Does everyone want to be my enemy? It seems like they do. Ah! Oh, that wasn't my friend. Uh, yeah, let's overheat him. Fuck him. Wait, what is this now? This is a different... Is this a different character progression system? Where's that... Where, where is that gone? I pressed T. And now I can't get to it again. God damn it. Okay, character. So I leveled up. Uh, let's... Go for a point in reflexes and... I think I'll save my next point because where where are the the like big dick fists? Where where are they? Rip and tear, indeed. Don't stop me now. Okay, yep. I uh I see the I see the song references here. Uh, the gorilla arms. Where are they? Are they are they on here? Or am I missing them? Are they on a different menu somewhere? Because, yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably save my upgrade points until I've put another point into body, which will unlock this next um, tier. You have to buy them. Right, okay. No, die. Fuck you. Blunt melee is the perks you need, right? Uh, yeah, let's fry his brain. Come on, motherfucker! Look at heavy fire! Entire left side of the strength tree. Perfecto. Then that is where we will go. I don't think there's anything here to loot, really. There's bullets, but I don't... Let's get out of here. I feel like I need them. That I could use. You can control the trajectory of bullet ricochets with power weapons. Oh, yeah, I already saw that. Right, okay. Yeah, blunt weapon. Actually, that's a good point. I, if I want to be playing melee, then I should really be using the. Um, uh, where's the baseball bat? Here we go. Yeah, because then I can like go for the perk upgrades on the baseball bat and do it that way. Dealing with maelstrom, huh? Never ends well, does it? Looks like you two lucked out a bit. And you? Why are you here? Well, I. Still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. Yeah, I doubt that. Rather tough to get corpses to talk. You'd be surprised. I'm sure I'll manage something. It's been a pleasure. I did the wrong thing to see Meredith again. Well, you guys told me to hack the little thingy, and apparently I've now screwed her over. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Now that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Ahí luego, V. 
right. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with Corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Miss V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Right, what is this thing? Is this Oh that's that's gonna be fast travel. Right, okay. Not using that. Uh 1.3 kilometers, right. Uh well, I guess you know what it's time for then. It's time for some driving. So is it possible that we can just find a bike? Because I'll take I'll take a car, but if I can find a bike without just running around too much, then I will. Hey, can I have your car? Watch out for the police. Whoop! Right, we're doing it. Fuck off. Apparently I'm going the wrong... Oh no, we're good. Right, it updates. Okay, driving. Let's see how many people we can not run over. Because yeah, the turning circles on these vehicles does not seem to be tight enough for these roads. Fucking hell. Why am I in combat? Ah! No, leave me alone. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Whoa. Uh, wait, why did that happen? Two-handed club sticking out of the side of the car probably seems like a bad idea. I also can't move. I'm- I'm genuinely stuck. Um... I'm- I think I'm gonna die. Fucking run! Is this- is this happening because- Because I stole this guy's car? Like... I hope not. Fuck you, die! I stole a gang member's car. He didn't look like a gang member. <laughs> Fuck! Nope. Bad. Yay! Right, I don't think we've run anyone over yet. Why did you do that? Yeah, this car is not gonna last, I don't think. Um, I'm not in combat anymore, so how do I get rid of this? Holster weapon? F? Yeah, there we go, right. No. Right, we're good. Okay, hopefully hopefully that car's there when I get back. I think I just leveled up again as well. Hold on. Yes, I did. Okay. So. We'll put two points in strength. Which then unlocks this tree. And... Uh, is it the left-hand side of the tree, did you say? No, I think it's the right-hand side of the tree. For blunt weapons. Uh, well, that looks like fun. 
Barrel into enemies while sprinting and blocking with blunt weapons, causing damage and a chance to knock them down. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. In fact, let's do it twice. Speaking of, where is my baseball bat? Yay! Okay, so I can sprint into people and block to knock them down. Right. I'm not going to try that. At least not here. About time, chica. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. My fists count as... So I'm guessing that the know. baseball bat will do more she damage than my fists, given that neither has been upgraded. Like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But... That's done after tomorrow. After life. Here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! The afterlife. Known far and wide, that name. Oh, yeah? Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs were scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Oh heavens, not that. Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. Who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Drop this from Kang Tao's Seaside Resort. Cajun. Best leave ever. Jordan Night City. It's you right there. Beating. Huh? Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All set on those. Looks like we're up. There. That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? Uh, no. Can I not pick for myself? You're Apparently not. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Two of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Oh, ho, oh, oh, wait a minute, what? Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Um. Fuck it. To hit in the major leagues. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm. Sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Right All righty then. Thanks. Ha no, I can just walk away from that conversation. Okay. This way.
Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Hmm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Hmm. Think you could take me? Drop me? Sure. In here. Este pinche tipo. Um, I'm getting some foreshadowing vibes right here. Um, that's right, Excelsior. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Got to bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Can I finally. sit down? First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. Put the flathead in the briefcase. Yep. Hello? Yeah, how do I do that? There we go. Alright then. Set your butts down comfy. I, I'm not thinking that everything's fine. It's I'm thinking awkward. something bad's gonna happen. Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Uh, oh, fuck. Do I betray Evelyn? Um. Um, uh, Miss V? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she spoiled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend. So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Ugh. I hate that it's giving me the binary option, because I don't want to... Just straight up fuck her over, but I also don't want to side with her. Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. AIDS? Me and Dex have already Rebel AIDS? Find deeds. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without That's saying, the guy that we saw in the brain dance. The okay. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. How do we get in the penthouse? Yarnobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller. Elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Now hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours as determined by me. Jack, it's fine. Don't push it. You for real? Drop it, I said. Cut's fair. Trust me. 
Fine. Whatever. Fuck it. Last thing. Kempeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates. The works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Can I bring my baseball bat? Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. I mean, I guess if I can't, I still have my fists. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. Um. I'm good. Let's go. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Yes, for the third time. Let's Something go. I gotta take care of. First. Oh God damn it! No fucking wrong button. Problemas. Meet you by the Delamain. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll go. We'll just go straight there. Put on the Militech suit. Can I just do that here? Outfit. Yeah, there we go. Well, there we go. Just don't forget to suit up. That's actually a good question, um, Charleston Jew. Um, have any of you guys seen Edge Runners? And what do you think? Because I've heard that it's decent, but I figured I'll wait until after um, playing the game to watch it. Wait, where is this? Where is this directing me? Right, okay, it's just taking a while to catch up. Edge Runners is fantastic. That's kind of what I've heard. Is it, like, has it got anything to do with the game, or is it uh, just, a, like, a totally separate story set within the same world? Oh, this is nice. Decent, but only if you've played Cyberpunk. Would have been mediocre without it. Fair enough. On his way. Catching up. And is it is it Netflix? I think it's Netflix. Okay, from the sounds of what you guys are saying, I will watch it, but I'm definitely going to wait until I finish playing the game. Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Now, I was kind of wondering earlier why self-driving cars aren't a thing in Cyberpunk, but apparently they are. Why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Dell. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior? The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of... What the fuck? It actually has a combat mode? Huh. Oh, well. Trust me, you'll be an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. This combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. <laughs> While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. Dex ain't skimping, is he? He's taking seventy percent of the pot. Or have you forgotten already? 
Excelsior. Yeah. This is um, how you want to cruise while we're sitting in the uh, Johnny Cab, um, I watched a couple of films the other day. One was good. One was not. Wouldn't get um, really excited. Madam Webb mm -hmm. is fucking funny. No, Jack. But holy shit, like is it bad? That steel grip of yours. Huh. So seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. Like it, it's the rare movie that comes out these days that is. Uh, it, it, it's essentially so bad it's good in that it is it is very entertaining because of how bad it is. Um, which I think contrasts it from something like Rebel Moon because Rebel Moon is bad in a like just kill me now kind of way, which seems to be the way that most things are bad at the moment. Need you to keep your head clear and oh empty. yeah, Dune Two I've also Where's seen. Dune Two is fantastic. Ever, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Does Little Platoon have I a video on um, UV. on Madam Web? Because I haven't seen it. If he does, shit around us. but yeah, it it's, really it's definitely funny back. bad. Like it, it's. It, it's the film you want to watch with some friends and a little bit of alcohol, and uh, you will definitely have a good time. Hey, how's things? We are near Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. The ring jacket He does. Now, okay, I'll safe. need to watch that then. Can't be too careful. Um, and the other film I watched that I had never seen before is Green Street. And? With Elijah Wood and Charlie Hunter. Got static. Um, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess. As someone who knows virtually excessive. nothing about football and uh, like I don't watch football, I found it very yes, entertaining. Definitely has some yeah, really. issues in like the third Not act, so but it, it, it was extremely it entertaining was to watch. Kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. That I may hook see. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. Well, that was a nice little taxi ride. Here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? Oh yeah. Uh. All right, Hannah. Let's go. Hold on. So I haven't head. seen the, uh, I mean, I haven't seen the teaser or the original for Beetlejuice, so I don't uh, share the same nostalgic feelings for it, but um, I did see a teaser trailer the other day that made me go, hmm, and that was the teaser trailer for the new Alien movie. We're out front, bug. Remember, and I want to say, Ramon. obviously the point of a Your teaser is to sell the film without really showing you anything. And it has me oh, thinking, sweet. okay, this could potentially be good. Like, I'm, I mean, I'll probably go and see it at the cinema. Who knows? We'll see. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. I also did miss the funny dialogue if there was some, sorry. You got it, home, Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? Um we are arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, you are here to see Takisan, am I right? Please accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a The moment. Acolyte, I have only heard that there is a teaser. I'm not going to watch it. I might watch the teaser, but yeah. I'm not going to watch the show. Unless everyone's like, yeah, this is good, actually watch it, like they were with Andor, but... We'd like to check in. Why is her face gold? Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is... Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyber psycho blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli Suite on level 42. 
Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Right, once we jump in this lift, I need to go for another Wii. It's called improvising. You should try it. Um, yeah, HP. That sounds think, like a good Anna? move, although I mm. would recommend Andor. Quaint. And it took a lot of people Cozy. recommending it to me Not for me to actually Julia watch it. Um, Andor is very good. What? And it's so weird that it is, but yeah. Yeah, like, the, kind of the way that I approached Andor was that it's like, okay, I don't care that this takes place in the Star Wars universe, just show me a really good TV show, and that's what it is. Um, I was actually surprised by how much it kind of intertwines itself in with the story of Star Wars. Like, uh, a few episodes in, it goes like, now we're in Coruscant, and I was like, wow, okay, so we're full-on acknowledging the prequels here, fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's have a look around. Shit. Oh, uh, Larry, I mentioned uh, Shogun earlier. I'm three episodes in. I think it is fucking brilliant so far. But, um, right. I'm going to go to the toilet. I'll be back in one sec. Right! Right, we're back. Where were we? Check out the hotel bar. Yeah, let's see what we can learn. And when I say heads That's another roll, dude with a gold face. I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Um, Good. HP, The Hunt, if you mean the Mads Mikkelsen one, one is fantastic. I've only seen it once, but it's... I think it's brilliant. What's gonna slap everyone? You want to know what a bearer of bad news looks like? What's 400 yards long, weighs 100,000 tons, and is nuclear powered? The answer's docked in the bay. Hanako Arasaka decided <gasps> decided to take a little vacation. Big deal. Don't know how big just yet. And by the time we do, it'll it'll be too late. Screw this. I'm gonna get some sleep. Yeah, um, yeah, the Danish film. I've, uh, I've definitely mentioned it, uh, him before. Thomas... I want to say Thomas Winterberg, but he might be someone else, is the guy that directed it. Or maybe I've just made that name up. I can't, rem I can't remember his name. Um, he also did a really, really, really good film called Another Round, which also has Mads, has Mads Mikkelsen in, and mm. I love both of those movies. Evening. What can I get you, baby? You always this forward? Suckled it out of my ma's very breast. Well, alrighty then. Fifty percent protein, the other half pure high octane chew too. Uh, what? She had wind and dust in her hair, so to speak. Belonged to the Alcaldos before the bombs began falling. Her final words: Wherever you go, whatever you do. Be yourself, David. And so I ended up here. Still no one but myself. Oh, cool story. Cool story, too. bro. Too bad it's made <laughs> up. Everyone's making something up. Just like you, baby. Uh... Can I get you something? At the least. Water? I'm good, thanks. Come back anytime. 
private jet from Seattle. Chic. Very. And appreciate it even more. Everyone, who's anyone in Night City will be there. On my yacht. Even your ex confirmed. Can I... Can I just sit down with these people? A Bosch, a Monet, two Basquiat Oh, head to the... Right, okay, no, I've done what it was. Okay. So, um... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, Larry, they didn't seem to care that I was staring at them, but that's also fine. They can- they can judge me. That's fine. About time. I missed Kojima. I can't- fuck it. I'll- maybe I'll see Kojima when I go back downstairs. Ooh, this is nice. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. But we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds I have a buddy enough. that is the one anomaly that liked episodes 8 and 9, which shouldn't be possible given that they contradict each other. The guy's pumped for the acolyte. Who's it this time? I don't really know how anyone can be pumped for the acolyte. I just don't understand it. Boot up your scanner. Look around. Flathead prep to go. Almost there, Chica. Right, we're looking for an entry point. No, that's not what I need. This? No, that's the terminal. That's a door. Can I open the door? That sounds a little bit like. Supposed to look for the shaft. No, I was going to say suicide silence, but it doesn't really. The music doesn't, at least. Maybe the vocals. There we go. Got a winner. Good, Jackie. How's the flathead looking? All set. Ah, oh, it's a cute little boy. Operational. Charge it a hundred. Gun is in one of the drawers. Don't forget to dr to grab it. Okay. Just gonna stand there and look at it. Gonna have to switch to manual. Wait, control. no. Do I not have my baseball bat? Hey, take the control shard from Jackie. I'm gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Hold on. I'll do this and then I'll have a look. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in camp view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Ha wait. Osaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. Oh, scan, right. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People's so that thing is just straight up invisible then. District I'm from. A week. That's okay. We can promise you. We will try, and that is all I can promise you. Okay, flatheads in. Patching you into next cam now. Um, yeah, Dizzle, you're pretty much. That, what makes you think I'm. I am tentatively looking forward to the Warhammer TV show. Um, said, Sorry for the mess. it will stop being tentative once everywhere. I know who's involved in terms of directing and writing. But for now, I really want it to be good. Where's the damn Got uh, Let's see what's on the subnet. All right, on it. Right, how do I consult with... Who? You know. Oh, scan for hackable devices, there we go. Terrarium's got a control panel. 
He's Somehow I doubt it. You mean you're a Nobu Arasaka? Men like him are always sick. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality control. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart. Always sick a flat head a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride. Um, Robert, yes, uh, and for anyone else who was not here earlier, at the moment, if everything goes to plan, I'm going to release Arcane Part 2 in two weeks today. Um, I've done a stupid amount of editing this week on it. I still need to do a little bit more, and I can't release it a week today because I'm busy. Um, so yeah, we're looking at two weeks today, hopefully. Hey, Bug, it worked. Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Enter the vent. Go. Um, yeah, kind of the way that I view it at the moment, because we have extremely limited information about the um, the Warhammer TV show, I don't think that Henry Cavill on his own is enough reason to be excited, and I don't think that Amazon being involved is on its own enough reason to be like, nah, this is going to be shit. Um, the reason why I'm tentatively looking forward to it is purely because I want it to be good. Um, I wouldn't know where to put my money if I was going to bet on it being good. It's just that I really want it to be good. <laughs> oh, what the hell? There we go. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. And yeah, the um, the second arcane video is currently like at four hours and twenty five minutes. It will way. probably end up closer to four and a half Got another cam other side of once I've finished with it. Able. So yeah, longest video I've ever done, and I don't quite know how that happened, Look but yeah. Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Uh, fuck, how do I do this? Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. What do we do now? Neutralize him. Use the flathead to jack into him. I'll flash freeze him with a demon. Old lingo, don't ask. Dweller won't realize something's up. Gotta jack straight into his chair. He won't know what hit him then. Could drive a tank through here and he wouldn't feel a breeze. Dead to the world, that one. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft okay. in both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Wait. Yeah, there we I go. found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Yeah, this is kind of reminding me of the um, brain dance segment in that it's just an extra gimmick that you just kind of got to do to do the mission. Um, now toggle over to the other flathead into the chair, V. Jack in. Right, go. Look where the NPC tells me to look and press button that the NPC tells me to press. Not particularly sure about this bit, but fine. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug. This bit is the only one with the flathead, fortunately. Thank you. Okay, good. You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing, it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. I leveled up? I leveled up! Okay. Uh... One attribute, two perks. Okay, we're gonna go... Let's put another point in cool. Let's see if we can put anything in smash. I don't think I can... Vehicle collisions. Now that sounds fun. 
Um, reduce enemies' armor after hitting them with a blunt weapon, which I'm guessing, again, includes fists. Um, plus 30% damage for 5 seconds and plus stamina. 100% knockdown chance with defensive attacks. That's got the word defensive in there. I'm not sure we want to use that. Minus 40% incoming range damage when blocking. And we're not really going to be blocking. Um, I think... Let's go for this one. Oh, and I have another perk point. Well, let's put another one in strength. Why not? Or can I not? Oh, I have it. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's go for the car one, then. Why not? Ooh. Yay, got our rolls. Right, how do we sit? What do you think? Why'd you give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to think it's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Maybe he just wanted out of the system. So then why'd he come back? Tough to ditch the system when the system's your own family. Black sheep still a sheep, huh? One way to put it. Crawled back on all fours, tail between his legs. Fucking cheap-ass rebel. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Huzzah! Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. El Bueno, let's go. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one of mine? Uh... <laughs> slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance yeah, I, to make up to me. I probably won't bother respecking this character. Sorry, which, which one is it that I can respec and which one is it that I can't respec? Um... Perk points can be refunded, attributes cannot. So perk points is all of this, attributes is the the broad character build. That's fine. Right. I'm probably not gonna Man, want to do that. And if I need time. if I really, really want to, I'll download a mod that lets me do it. Gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head. I'm telling you. It's downhill from here on in. Uh, there's the awkward silence. You uh wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay, so why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> He's wanted for assaulting a public official. <sighs> Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Hey, I recognize this room. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sing on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Wait. Look around for a switch. Grab the lizard egg. What? What the fuck lizard egg? What, what are we talking about? What lizard egg? Can't, you gotta... You gotta be more specific. Because I'm looking for a switch, and a lizard egg, and a gun, apparently. Behind the lizard, on the log. Ooh. Hey, look, V. Another fucking iguana. Shit, you're right. Think it's the same one? Lizard egg can be taken afterwards. Okay, thank you. 
Right. Hidden safety switch. Well, it's going to be somewhere in this room. I just need to mouse over it. Didn't he go over? No, that's where his bed is. Um, what are those? Space cash, right? Hurry up, v. Is that a gun? That's a gun. Looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. No, put it away. Damn it, put it away. There we go. Distract enemies, that's not what we want. That's the elevator. There's an upstairs. Hurry up. You're in Ooh. Be back any second. Yeah, let's steal his clothes, why not? Uh, right, apparently I can grab the egg now. I mean, the iguana's there. Where's the... Where's the egg? Egg! Right, we got the egg. Okay. Now. Where... Where is the switch for this thing? There's a sword. What the fuck? How much weird shit does this guy have? Also, I'm not sure if this guy's gonna be back any second. I think he's gonna come back when I find the button. I think I'll leave the sword, because I want to be using blunt weapons anyway, so I'm not sure I'm going to use the sword. Oh, okay, if I scan it, it tells me where the button is. Right, lovely. Turn on. Boop, 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 boop. Bingo. Got something ejected. Come here, V. <laughs> An egg in these trying times. <laughs> yeah, so what, what do I do with the egg? Does it actually do anything, or is it just, lol, you have an egg? Where's the egg? Junk. Well, apparently it's junk, but I'm going to keep hold of that egg anyway. What now? Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. You can get an iguana your with it. Turn, uh, okay. Give me two. So that means that junk isn't actually junk then. Like it's not just vendor trash. Uh oh. Visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Quickly, I'm gonna have to baseball bat him. Green. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity. Come on. I'm guessing that's a yes. Good. Let's go. Fuck. Too late. Your noble's about to walk in. Find cover. Find cover. Fat pillar. Try that. No, I want to go here. What the no. fuck? Uh. Now. God damn it. Wait, wait. We're hiding inside his like TV screen. Don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Oh, that's... What was his name? I thought I don't smash her. Smash her. <laughs> that's Mars. it, okay. Night City legend. Bleep motherfucking one, too. What's the play? Oh, uh, God. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bucko, we got incoming. Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass-licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof. you <laughs> Oh, 
Can I, like, hack this guy to make him stop? No, we're in cutscene mode. Okay. The tallest milkweed gets sniffed, motherfucker. I mean, does he have bodyguards or what? I guess not. Yeah, why did he leave the room? Did I just miss why that guy left the room? And why does he only have one bodyguard? Okay, well... I guess he wasn't expecting to be strangled.
security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Yeah, right. Luke, need you to get us out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. Oh, does he have nice? Okay, got something. Ooh. Window now. Yeah, let's take his knife and his dog tags. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Viking Bob. So, is everyone's eyes in this video cameras, or is it only some people? If it's only some people, why isn't it everyone? Also, that's not good. Fuck! Fucking major leaps. Had a feeling everything was going to go wrong. How much longer do you think you'll stream? Um, it depends on how much longer this particular mission is. I'm thinking maybe another half hour or so. Above, you can take items before leaving. Thank you, I will have a look. You have a lot of drip to find. I already... So I already stole his clothes. If that was what you were referring to. Haven't been up here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why did you tell me to go back in? Fuck, 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 fuck. Is that my buddy? That's my buddy. Right, okay. Shit. Um, you can kill them and then take your time. Alright, well, thankfully, I bringed my... Where's my baseball bat? Do I not have my baseball bat? Did I have to fucking get rid of that as well? Yep, I actually did. Right, okay, fine. It's never referenced or addressed the fact that your eyes are cameras. Everyone demands proof and you tell them, trust me, bro. But the whole, the whole like brain dance thing means that essentially everyone's eyes are cameras, right? Though I'm, I'm not misunderstanding that, am I? They just establish that everyone's eyes are cameras and then don't play into that? Basically, yes. That's a shame. Your eyes being cameras not meaning that they're always recording is a fair point, but if they could have been recording just now, when I watched Big Dick get murdered by his son, I would have started recording. Like, you, there's no reason why you wouldn't do that. I mean, maybe that's going to be a plot point later, I got no idea, but from the sounds of it, it probably won't. Right. Do you have anything nice? Let's take it all. Get to Saburo's aim. I don't need to get to the ladder. Right. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that I haven't already looted, because I already looted his clothes. The items are in the car. Okay, thank you. <laughs> HP, you are quite right. A stormtrooper once bumped his head on a door and he didn't even die. Yeah. Don't forget trying to Therefore, why care thing? about plot holes? Oh, fuck. Remain where you are. God damn it, did I press the wrong button? I think I did. Right. Gotta get out of here now! Where? Where the fuck are we going? Uh. Wait, I need to... I'm gonna equip the sword. Huzzah! Wait, does the ladder just take me to where I just was? Look down. <laughs> yep! That's fucking high! Shit! That trauma? They're here for Saburo, they're a little late. Just hope they didn't see us. 
Okay, fuck it, we're jumping. Oh my god. One. The relic! Madres! Oh, oh this ain't good. Mm. Jackie, you're bleeding. Worry about me later. Get the relic. Container depressurized. Biochip integrity at 94%. Fucking drop in. Carajo. Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it! Baby? I bet he's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip integrity's it. Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. Plug it into your brain. Ah! I fucking knew it! Okay. Uh, all right. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's got to do it. I have a feeling Jackie's going to die, so... In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Santo. Amen. Oh, okay, he just did it. Jackie? You okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! Stand up! Oh, my Johnny Cap. Well, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Stand up, what the fuck? It. Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. Gonna... Press F to stand, right, okay. Reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Um Let's be quick. Evie says, based on what little the teaser trailer sh probably showed you, what gave you a bit of hope what that the new alien film won't be bad. Great. So it's difficult to say because I can't remember what the teaser trailer was for Alien Covenant, and Alien Covenant was bad. Um but I think you could probably make a pretty good teaser trailer for Alien Covenant as well. Um but I really like Alien, even though the vast majority of the films are bad. And I really want it to be good. Um, practical effects is one. Uh, the fact that the director has made at least one half-decent movie. Um, the vibe seemed to be solid. I guess the quote-unquote atmosphere, it, it reminded me most of Alien Isolation, to be honest, rather than any of the uh, specific movies. Um, and I know it's a teaser, so this is kind of normal for teasers, but at the same time it's not a given. It didn't show you any of the plot, and it didn't really show you any of the characters. So, like, the point of it was just to, you know, get a feel for what the movie's gonna feel like. And provided the plot and characters aren't terrible, which I know is a big ask, could be good. Uh, no, it's not Ridley Scott. I don't even know if he's a producer, to be honest. In fact, I think he's not a producer. <laughs> Hide. It's um, Fede Alvarez is the director. He's the guy that did the first Attention. Don't Breathe movie. I hope he didn't do the second because the second is terrible. Um, the first one's decent enough. I can't remember what else he's done, though. I, I may, that may be the only thing I've seen from him. Uh, well, they're all traceable. Um... Sound good. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Don't see me. Don't see me. Katana, you in the back. Uh, now nah, we're not gonna kill you. You seem nice. What do we have here? We're guards. Come in here. Okay, now you can die. Fuck, I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Die, die. Fucking die. Oh no, you're my friend. Uh, whoops. 
Okay, he was clever enough. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, he was clever enough to take down the other guy while I took down the first one. Right. Let's put that away. Might hurt myself. Wait, no, this way. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all this way. given by staff. Need you check the Zen room? Yes. All clear. B. <sighs> Again, they're all traceable, so I'm not sure I want well, to. I'll wait. No, no, no. You saw nothing. What is that? Surveillance camera. Eh. Go on, then. Ah, oh, he was already walking away. No, I hacked it! What the fuck? You can't see me. Stabby, stabby. Uh, how do I pick him up? Hold down R. Move. Camera, you saw nothing. I'm sand fishering this shit. Uh, well, there's not a dustbin here. I can leave him in. Um, no. Drop. There we go. Right. Note to self, be careful playing co-op games with you. Um, yeah, especially, um, I think it, was it last week that we did, um, I think it was last week that we did Helldivers. There was quite a lot of friendly fire on that, but then that's Helldivers for you. Huzzah! On guard! No, that's my friend. You, you're not my friend. Uh, well, we've gone loud. We can fry his brain. Huzzah! Is he coming? Yes. No, he's kind of stuck in the... No, we're good. Uh, Fry's brain. Toasty! Haha! Whoa! I cut off his leg. Did I do that, or did I hack him? Did I hack his leg off? Now that was probably the that was probably the katana. I didn't realize this game had dismemberment. Um. Yeah, Dizzle. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. It honestly depends on which Ridley Scott films you've seen. Because let's say that you've seen, like, eight Ridley Scott movies. If I don't know which ones those are, you could either think he's the best director in the world, or you could think he's terrible. Um, because he is very hit and miss, but his best movies, I think, are, like, masterpieces. Wait, who, who saw me? Ah, what the... Uh, who saw me? Someone in there saw me. Hack him. Overheat him. No, that's my friend. Now I think, if I'm right, I mean, this, is, this isn't a blunt weapon, obviously. It's kind of like a pointy, sharp weapon. It's kind of the point. Which means I don't think... That running at someone while blocking will knock them over. Because I got an upgrade for that. I hacked that guy's leg off as well. Um, I got an upgrade that does that, but I think it only works on, like, the fists or the club. But I don't know. Tim, yes, this is my first time ever playing Cyberpunk. Um, and I've been playing it for... Apparently 289 minutes, Steam says. I don't know how many hours that is. About four. 
Suck down. What about the other one? Got to be a blunt weapon. Okay. So can you block bullets with the with the katana by like blocking? I'm I'm guessing not unless you have like really high dex. Uh, hack his brain on fire, right? I'll be honest, I'm kind of liking the sword. Burn you, fuck! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, what guns did you drop? Hey, got a shard with security clearance. Uh, so, Pepina, this is um, actually the streamer-friendly version of the of the soundtrack. Um, the original, I'm guessing, uses copyrighted music quite a lot. I don't know if, like, how much of the music you you can hear is in, you know, I guess the normal version of the game. Um. It could be that there's a couple of songs that it replaces. It could be that it's like all of them. I have no idea. What? Saburo Arasaka. 150 years. And today. Of all fucking days. Best like. Some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Save your strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. Tell Bug, why don't you? Maybe she'd still be alive if we hadn't been so gung fucking ho. Don't take this out on me. <laughs> right, let's do this. I'm in combat. I haven't even left the. Let's go. Ooh, what's this? Coffee. Yep, coffee sounds good. Uh, let's hack you. Let's hack your leg off. Uh, hack you. Take a stim pack. Lovely. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Oh, what the fuck? I can't katana his legs off. Um, okay. Shit, hold on. Um, I mean, I guess I can... No, I, that's not going to help me. That might help me. Didn't I loot, like, a machine gun? Hold on. I did. Right, lovely. Darker. Right, I've only got one more stim. Is, wait, is it? Do I crit it when I shoot it in the balls? Seem to. Um, Dizzle, I pretty much agree with you, although I really, really, really do like The Last Jewel. Ah, hey, no. Um, Tim, kind of what this has turned into is fisty, punchy, smashy, buy from Arcane build. Um, I know I've been using a sword and a machine gun, but 
once I unlock, apparently, gorilla fists or gorilla arms is a thing, uh, we're going to be just punching things and asking questions later. Uh, right. Katana time. Uh, ooh, can I... No, I can't turn on a car and make it drive. Right, well, set your brain on fire. Into the Johnny Cab! Oh, turn on combat mode. Not bad. Client feedback noted. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet. Oh, fucking hell. Please remain calm. Calm. Oh no. Leave it to me. I have a sword. Oh no, I have a pistol as well, right? That was a bugged animation. I can't just give up. I can't change the machine gun either. I have to use the pistol. Yay! You're white as a ghost, Jack. See? I told you we'd make it. Have I just leveled up again? Yeah, this. The, the skill progression thingy. I opened this earlier and then I couldn't get back to it. So it's under character, but then... Skill progression, right? That's what it is, okay. So this is totally different to just the normal level up. This is a progression system that rewards you for playing in a particular way. Is that how this works? You have multiple XP bars. And depending on what you do, you gradually kind of get better at doing whatever that is. From the sounds of it. Because I do like progression systems like that. Ripper Doc now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. It's gonna hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie! Don't close your eyes! <sighs> Misty... I she know... She always knew... <sighs> Biochip... Don't do it... For me... No. He was the best boy. God damn it. So this uh this segment of the game that I'm kind of doing now, it feels like something is kind of wrapping up. Is this kind of the end of the like prologue section or is there a bunch more to it? Uh, oh god, um... Well, I feel like dumping him with his family is probably not the move. Um... We'll sort him. Nowhere. Game is about to open up, not long at all. Okay, in that case, I will play until that happens, and then I'll probably end the stream there. So that whenever I do this next, it'll be a case of open world. in the major leagues, Jack. 
Ah, uh, he was a good boy. Oh, the misery, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I think I feel like this is a controversial take, but I actually really like that song. And I do not like it, Imagine Dragons, but I really like that song. Room two hundred four. This is room two hundred four. Right, go open. There we go. On a happy note, you chose the quick free motorcycle option in the last dialogue. Okay, good. Bobby. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blown up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Gotta leave Night City. You don't say. Bring Evelyn. We close the deal, collect our cut, and drop off the radar. Alright, settle down. We gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. God damn it. I liked you. Why you gotta do me like this? Can't risk it, V. Remember our first combo? Dex, what the fuck? Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Hmm. And that, dear, was that. Okay, so we're now in... Steal the Relic. Uh, interlude, apparently. So this is... We're basically out of the prologue story now, right? Because I'm just awake for some reason, and I guess I'm going to find out why. Although I have no map. Yeah, if I try and open the map, I got nothing. Is this purgatory? What do you have to say? Hey. Wait. You all right? Never been better. Sure don't look it. Why is my voice different? Hey, hey, we're chill. Oh, what the fuck? I'm Keanu Reeves. 
You can stop now. We're in about 20 minutes. Let's go. Let's go for another 20 minutes. Okay. Sorry, I just got to look at all of the audio shit. <laughs> oh, this is cool. That's an interesting looking guitar. Oh, wow, okay. Royalty free Johnny. <laughs> Tonight, I'm. I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. I curled up your ass. Brain dance? Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for? No need. Wait up. Don't do this. You can still change your mind. Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Karen. Offer you one piece of advice, for all time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future. I am kind of looking forward to seeing how they contextualize this as being part of the story. Because right now I have no idea if, like, V... I mean, I, I'm guessing that V is alive and not dead, and that that wasn't, like, the end of the story or something. Which means, like, are we experiencing this as V somehow? Or is this just the game saying, hey, you should probably know this backstory or something? Do you want an answer? No, I do not want an answer. I'm just kind of speculating out loud. Like, if, um... Hmm. I just had a theory. Yeah, if I, if I miss something in the narrative, then by all means tell me, but, like, don't tell me anything that hasn't actually happened yet. Um... I'm gonna just throw this out there. This might have something to do with the, like, chip that we just stole and put in my brain before I got shot. But I guess we'll find out. Skullcracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Aristotle's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is the Cub Scouts, Johnson. Chew it up, spit it out. Bet you can't tell why he's called Silverhand. Is it anything to do with the uh, Iron Hands and Warhammer being called the Iron Hands? And Ferris Manus being called, you know, Iron Hand, and then they'll cut off their hands so that they have Iron Hands? I'm guessing it's something like that. Oh dear. So this Johnny Silverhands guy is like a singer in a band and also like a mercenary or something. I guess we'll find out. But if this is like memories or dreams or something, then this could potentially be manipulated or something. Bullets too shape to go down. There we go. Everybody, go. Murphy. Another access point. Get moving. Johnny. Remember the plan? Get the payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. 
Oh, like in that movie. Explosion rocks the foundation tower, crumbles chaos, screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. It's grass green, birds fly. I can't see bats, do rats shit, gnats. Does Johnny Silverhands know Kung Fu? Murphy, come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Ah, what the... I shot his arm off. Alright, that's some... That's some... That's some core strength right there, right. Wow, I shot his arm off as well. How the hell? Shido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got Delta! The Demolitra. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Shoot the... Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one second. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Rogue was the name of the lady that was in the bar earlier on. But I can't remember who she was. Cover will not save you from my silver hand. <laughs> ah, you survived. That's not allowed. Oh shit, this guy's got a health bar, right. Not anymore, he doesn't. <laughs> Holy shit, this gun is strong. Also, melee attack seems to, like, do, like, a secondary fire out of the end of the gun. Wow, I got both of his arms. Anyway, what were we doing? Closing in on the axis. Slot in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a we look. We turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof, quick. Roof. Roof's over there, right. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I bet he has a health bar. Shit. That's Adam Smasher. Oh, he looks different. Johnny, Murphy. Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny, like the wind. Okay.
Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Hmm. Hi, still alive. Understood. I'm going to go. Associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fissile material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Okay, so this took place quite a while ago then. Because he... Unless I'm misremembering what the other guy looked like, he looks way younger. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. Uh oh. I didn't want him to die. Nazi. Ah, okay. Thank you, Charlie. There was a timestamp at the start of this 2023. Okay, thank you. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. だが、シャワチが。シャワ有名だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。why are you gonna do me like that? It's a me. It's a me. And you. Who are you? Oh, okay, yeah. Was I was I pretty much right? That Johnny Silverhand stuff was taking place kind of as a result of the uh relic, I think they referred to it as, that I plugged into my brain. Like his memories are stored in there or something? Obviously, don't, like, tell me if that hasn't been revealed yet, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm alive. Question is, though, how am I alive?
heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Rip. Funny how that works, isn't it? Fucking bullet sponge, really? Are you serious? There we go. Yeah, the camera... That, that's not a glitch on the screen. The camera is kind of glitching out whenever it gives me control and takes it away. Uh, that's... Odd. Um, no, my controller is, uh, disconnected. I haven't used the controller for, like, all of- for any of this. Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper dog whom you can trust? You... You... were at... Come back in Plaza. We must get the Reaper dog. Quickly! <laughs> uh, Victor... Who oh, fix this, this guy is the guy that we was like the Emperor's bodyguard. Someone. And he, he was the guy that was asked to leave the room and then came back in. Is that who this is? Who this is? All right, all right. Because we never really got like a close up look at him earlier. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Come, pick me up. Need to get to Misty's esoteric in front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? 
Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. Well, Victor is a very good boy, because I owe him a lot of money and he's still doing this for me. He's just after your organs. Uh, yeah, that's possible. I guess. I don't know him that well. Like hammered shit. I don't know, Vic. The years are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic. And I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then... <sighs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It's too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Think you can top the terrorist in my brain? The biochip. It's basically a bomb fuse lit already you don't have much time left much life 
A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until... Fucking hell, okay. Gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one deep. Okay. There was... Is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you. Because right now it. I'm wondering why you can't just remove it. Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Oh. Then they took okay. your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. die and then get up like nothing happened used to be true now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them what about me my psyche i make it back from the other side and what i'm supposed to pretend change is normal ask the arasaka engineers who built the thing all i know is your mind's gonna go and it won't be pretty from the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part. It's getting soma flashbacks now. Inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Uh, yeah. Why can't we just remove the chip? Is the obvious question that I have. The chip out or switch it off. Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was going to die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. So is that going to be a gameplay mechanic, I'm wondering? Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's going to die, V. You'll feel 
your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Missy, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? I'm so fucking sorry Jack's not here anymore. Jackie was special. Really spiritually rich. He touched so many people with his love. Don't worry. He'll be around. Sure you'll be alright? I'll be fine. Life is so beautifully powerful. So much more powerful than death. But right now you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Right. So the question is, when we wake up, are we going to be able to use our legs? Oh Gotta Jesus get Christ! Out of here, understand? <laughs> and I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke? Where'd you stash yours? you even come from how are we even talking how the fuck should i know the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off um oh okay who you work for start talking fuck fuck Fucking chip. <laughs> Rip the thing out myself. No, no. Um, See you never, asshole. Yeah, we have our anti Keanu like Reeves pills. Oh, Stick shit. Should have seen that coming. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. This is kind of reminding you me of that me? scene in Fight Club where he beats himself I'd up. If I fucking could, it's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Fuck, 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 fuck it, fuck. Gonna kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? 
can't kill you, Keanu. You're breathtaking. Act two, so I take it we have reached our stopping point. Optional. Find find clothes, optional. Okay. Uh yeah, I'm guessing that right about there is where we're gonna save it. So uh how many acts are in the game and are they of relatively equal length? Because uh, I mean, obviously that was just the beginning of the game, but I'm kind of wondering how long the game is if I do maybe a reasonable number of side quests because yeah i will i will save it for now level 10 already okay that's act one act two is the longest okay i mean if they're not evenly spaced then i i guess finding out how many acts there are doesn't really uh death stranding is a game like that like act four takes like 20 hours or something stupid and then the rest are a lot quicker um yeah cool so 25 hours 62 hours on average 25 hours is probably if you just gun for the main story um yeah the thing is six, 60 hours of streaming it is a lot because that's going to be basically me for like six months if it was 25 hours i could do that in like four streams five streams maybe um, 40 to 50 hours? Eh. Okay, I mean, for now, what I'll do then is probably in my own time, I'll maybe explore the city a little bit, but like I won't do any quests. I'll save them for streaming. Um, and yeah, as far as what I'm going to be doing next, I guess the next time I will see people, I might potentially be doing something tomorrow, but I'm not going to say what or when because I don't know yet. Um, will not be a stream next Friday because I am away and assuming nothing changes Arcane Part 2 will be out a week after that so two weeks today um, if I have any problems regarding copyright I'll stick a message on the Discord but I shouldn't because I have uploaded like a dummy version of the video and it immediately got past copyright so I think we're good um okay yeah with that we're gonna leave it there because i do have to be up tomorrow so thank you guys for watching this has been quite a lot of fun and at some point possibly sometime next month um we will pick up with some more cyberpunk ah where are my buttons right thank you guys and i will see you in a bit